it's a little dead meme. There we go. Oh, man. It's a me, Demario. Hey, it's me, Chris Raygun. Welcome to the Snark Tank. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. What's you know what's funny Chris about Ray that? Gun? You know what's funny about that? It's like, that is such an old reference that most people probably have no fucking idea what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most yeah. people that are fans of him have no clue what you mean, probably. That's probably yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. Comedy, Comedy short. Comedy <laughs> short. What a fucking name. What a terrible time. person. Yeah. Terrible Do you remember human. that he used to have an intro that he would quo- uh, chlorophene or chloroform um, a, a chick and like drag them like off the screen or something? Like, what the fuck are you yeah, talking no, about? Are yeah, you yeah, fucking with me? No, I'm not. It was like some weird. He had this like intro that he would like, I don't know, maybe a girl would be dissing him and then he would like put the rag on them and then like drag them and I was like, yo, what is this? <laughs> it his was, intro? It was like an His int- intro? To, to his, his videos. intro to his videos yes, was I, him chloroforming a I woman. I swear, I swear. I hope I can still find it. Let me see. Uh, so comedy. <laughs> King I, shit. I just remember this right now. You might be able to find it faster than me. <laughs> I really, I really have no. Re- I have gamer. no recollection of this at all. Um, um, what would I put like? Uh, comedy shorts gamer rape intro. Yeah, like yeah, something like that. It probably would be easier to find on um. Comedy Shorts Gamer Intro. And let's see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you like... Is that is that real? I swear this is... <laughs> <laughs> can you put it Can you put it in the, in the episode? Yeah, I have to. Hey, baby. My name's Comedy Shorts Gamer. It's it's right at the beginning, so I, I want to see it. Dude, though. Yeah, like so, yeah. so I was just going through. I looked. I looked for. I looked for Deji chloroform, and it, I, for some reason, it showed an image of his mom and dad. Deji is a clone of his dad. Deji is just yeah, straight up yeah, a that's copy that's of his father. Like it's terrifying. People that that happened. <laughs> yeah. So this is real. This is like totally real. Uh, if you just type in comedy shorts gamer intro, there's a thing that was posted three years ago by Cass. With 46k views, and uh, people are like, and everybody's just talking about like, yeah, like I can't believe this was the thing, and wow, the 2010s were wild and shit. Only OGs Yo, this remember this. Is cr- <laughs> I, I totally forgot about this. I forgot about it. It's got this pup, this weird ragdoll puppet animation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude! I totally forgot. And this is like a thing that I he was totally like. Totally forgot. This is this totally is crazy. normal. That is crazy that that's fucking real. I can't believe that was, that was just that was just this dude's introduction for the whole time that he was on YouTube for like ages. That's uh, that's that's, that's dope fire style shit. That's that's <laughs> fire. <laughs> that's fire. That's the that's, that's fire, the correct. Bro. That's how. That's the that world. is the that's only the correct thing. That is the way the world used to be, and the way it was better then. <laughs> I mean, dude, look- there are people. It's so funny looking at like shit like that, or even just the way that, even certain things that are happening now, like Sneeko going going to like basketball games and like children coming up to him going like, "We hate women." <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, and him reacting we don't all like weird. Gay people, and it's like, no, it's no so, trans people, and I'm like, damn. It, it, dude, it is so funny watching those videos because watching those videos, right, of of Sneeko being confronted by his like really young audience, it's like this is what, like. Back in like 2015, this is what people thought we were doing. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, like this, this, like this is reality for this person, but it was just completely like how, absolutely how people thought we were interacting. Right. With like our audience, like people genuinely probably thought that like at VidCon, w- kids would come up to us being like, "Yeah, fuck women." Yeah, like it literally <laughs> you know never I mean? happened. Not one time do I have any memory of. Of somebody like in real life or anything coming up saying some misogynistic or, or misogynistic or, or or homophobic or racist, nothing like that. Yeah, has literally, happened. literally not once. And I, I said on the podcast, the only thing that was stupid that happened was just be, us being kind of characterized or classified as heroic or something. <laughs> oh yeah, but I yeah, that yeah, was that just was lame. Your fans are weird. <laughs> just that's lame. Right. They're not coming up to that you. Was, saying that was, that was one. What's the point? 
There was one really weird. Uh, uh, I don't know whose fan he was specifically. I'm sure he just knew like a handful of us. But I remember we all went to breakfast, and there was a bunch of people that were around. And then we started to. Uh, I remember this. We might have been an IHOP or some shit. Remember Chris? Oh you know yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like there I was a few that. people that were there or something that weren't that didn't know us or something that were kind of around. And when we were actually walking to VidCon, there was a handful of people that were still kind of trailing behind us, but there was this one sweaty bearded guy. He had a trucker hat on and he had, like his his shirt was tucked in and like he was just giant beard and sweaty and I'm like, "I are we are we going to are we getting killed right now? I didn't know what was happening. There was just that one guy. There was one guy. <laughs> I don't guy remember that, that at all. Yeah, you probably blocked it out of your memory. I, I, me, I, <laughs> no, there's, that was the only time where I was like, this guy is weird, and we need to walk a little bit faster. But, uh, but yeah, yeah. barring that, we were casted in such a weird it's light. It's so bizarre. It's so funny. It's just so funny watching because I was like, "This is this is really what people thought we were doing." Yeah, like I, I, that was the first thing that came that crossed my mind when I saw that video. Sneeko being like, "This is this is genuinely what people thought." That video oh, was crazy. That was an doing... amazing video. And, uh, he's just like, it's, what? It's, a, it's a good video of him <laughs> of him losing his <laughs> just, just looking at the camera like, "Oh my he's god, like, what have I done?" Oh shit! And that's the funny thing when you look at uh, I saw so I've seen I've been watching a lot of Manosphere uh, people cover Manosphere content. Uh, I watched oh, a couple of uh, Jay Aubrey's videos. Um... Oh yeah, the pearly, just pearly I watched things, the, right? The pearly one was good. I watched the the uh, he did uh, an Aiden Ross one. Somebody did a sneaker one. I don't remember who it was, uh, but uh, it might have been Turkey Tom. I don't fucking remember. But I just been watching a lot of these people and like how they started their origins, and then all of it. Obviously, it's all a grift. But I liked Sneeko's was one of the most. Um, oh, I was watching something. It was from FD Signifier, and uh, his was it was so authentic. Where Sneeko was just like, man. This shit is so easy. I used to spend so much time editing videos. It would take like days, sometimes weeks to edit shit. And now I make five, ten times more money just posting this dumb shit. Like, why would I ever go back to that other stuff? Just being very upfront about his grift, which I tell you, I respect the people. I respect that, man. That like are just forthcoming about it than the ones that fucking lie. Like I a, do, I honestly, yes, I do. The fact that he's on I'm camera grift, saying man. that, I'm pro grift. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pro grift. Pro man. grift. I've been pro grift for a long I, time. I've been like, someone dude, just, just told make me money, dude. Yesterday, yesterday, someone just told me. I don't know what the video is, uh, but somebody, I, I quote tweeted the guy. You know, nothing against the guy. He just brought it to my attention, saying, "Hey, there's a video of somebody accusing you as a grifter." Like. I can share oh, yeah. it well, if that you happens. want, and I, I didn't. I don't care to watch. I don't give a shit. But the one thing that's so annoying is I would understand if somebody uh, accused me of grifting back in the day. Maybe they thought, "Oh, this guy is probably just saying some shit to get money." Because I know there was people that were adjacent to us that were doing it. But right. what they're specifically talking about is videos that I made maybe like six to ten months ago or whatever, the last videos that I started making before my all my sponsors were gone, then I finally was like, I'm free. It was like I had yeah. like, I had sponsor obligations where I'm like, I gotta keep making political videos even though I don't want to, because they're the only ones that get views. But my views were still naturally declining because I wasn't I wasn't grifting. I was people that were signed on to me, right? That were you know, still into this anti woke shit, or some people that are probably adjacent to the manosphere. Like I am shitting on them. They're yeah, I don't think people. I don't, I don't think people really appreciate how much money is in that sphere, man. Like it's <laughs> they, it's they don't. I, I don't think I really don't think people have a even the slightest understanding. They don't even use their cool eyes. Like, they don't even look, use. Man, uh -huh. Yeah, it's it's like you, you just look at the stats, yeah. man. Like look, yeah. like, look, it's not difficult to see like where money's going, but. Fire, you know. God, God bless Sneeko. Yeah, yeah you know, fire for content, for just admitting. It, it for just, admitting, I like. I, I appreciate that right. sincerely, because I think that sometimes I, I think like, oh my God, what am I wasting my time fucking doing all this writing and editing for? <laughs> I I could just record myself for ten minutes saying fuck women, fuck women, fuck women, fuck women, and make like a million dollars. Right. Like it's, it's such a waste of time Literally, not to a do three that. Three chord like, song. Don't know why you're not make doing a it. three do chord it. song. And just say fuck women the entire time, <laughs> and fuck you'll women. be on uh, uh, you'll be on Tim Cast, you'll be on Fresh and Fit, you'll probably oh, yeah. meet Andrew Tate Fresh somehow. Gone, I, I don't know if he's <clears throat> wait, Fresh and Fit's gone. What happened to Fresh and Fit? Got demonetized. I don't know if they're gone. I think they're gone, dog. They might. I think because I, I saw them wrong. on um, I saw them on Flagrant. I saw them on Flagrant. I think they're still around. Which they got clowned on because Fresh and Fit realized, which was stupid. Know your demographic, right? The, the, retards like Manosphere content. So keep it in that sphere. They went on yeah, yeah, yeah. a normie podcast like fl Flagrant. 
and then no, they got do clowned that. on by their entire audience. Dude, Andrew uh, Andrew Schultz told them straight up, "I don't want to release your guys' podcast because it's got you guys look bad." Like I'm just being real about it, and they were like, "No, no, what are you talking about?" Like they didn't realize they they were actually not self aware that they that they're saying stupid shit to the rest of the normal population to normies. They didn't I know. gotta watch that. Is it, is it out? Is the podcast out? It's it's out unless they took it down again. It should be out. Ah, uh, dude. Out. I mean, I, I watched it. I, I laughed my ass off. The problem is, it was so funny. They're saying the same shit that they always say, like, oh, fucking women belong in the kitchen. Oh, they shouldn't vote. Oh, just dumb shit. You know, just the most dumb cookie cutter shit that makes a lot of money in that spear. But like the Andrew Tates and all those people that just they like edgy uh, frat boy comedy. They're not fucking misogynist retards. They're just. A little dumb, <laughs> you know, like slightly dumb. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. Fans a are slightly dumb. dumb. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just the, slightly. Dude, the um, yeah, I don't know, man. It's it's a whole it's a whole world out there. It but, is. It's, yeah, it's fun. Uh, it's fun. Just some quick housekeeping. Oh shit! Yeah. I, just, I I do want to mention uh, outside of the fact that like you know you can you can go over to patreoncom slash Snark Tank give us give us all of your fucking money, please, or we'll kill every you. Fucking find you every, every fucking dime. Every every dime, dime, dime of your money. I'll you can find, support, you. Can support the show. You. You can support the show, make 18 accounts, and donate to the highest tier with all of your accounts, and drain your bank account slowly <laughs> while we siphon the life out of you. Yeah, if you yeah, don't, yeah. I'm going to find where you live. I'm going to pour liquid lead in your shampoo. I'm going to I'm going to microwave. Uh, uh, I, I don't I don't even know. I'm going to microwave 10 forks in your apartment while you're gone. And then I'm just going to let nature take its course. So that's it. Consider this a threat. I'm, I'm Go on over to patreon.com slash snark tank. Awesome. I'm going to hogtie your mom, and I'm going to have <laughs> okay. seven all right, people. All right, <laughs> all right. All right. Stop, uh, stop, we'll stop, listen, stop, listen, stop, listen. Stop, More stop, housekeeping. But one, thing, but one thing I did want to mention, <clears throat> we, I've been posting some, uh, some um, clips from previous episodes, just some highlight clips on, uh, on, on, on my TikTok, my Instagram, my, my Twitter account, while we get uh, our other social media channels up and running. Uh, just to just to see uh, how it would go over, and, and turns out people like them. People are responding to them pretty well. I've already seen like a couple of people on my TikTok being like, "I didn't even know you had a podcast." Yeah, that's so I, it's working. That's insane. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's it's insane. It's 174 episodes. We should have just kept. We should have. I don't know why we. It took us this long, but yeah, that's we're true. doing it. Uh, we got these clips out, uh, and uh, I'm I'm glad that people seem to be liking them. Yeah, also, they're, yeah they're very. There good. is. Uh, they're very good. Also, there's more. There's also. So there's we more? Have there's, there's recently, few more. Yeah, so one of the other one. Uh, recently, we have switched to a brand new podcasting network. So <laughs> mm-hmm. as of now, right. for our content, um, when it's on our free feeds, it'll be having quite a few, a bit, a bit more ads. But those ads are helping us give you as many episodes as we have been lately. And we appreciate you guys watching them. You don't have to, you know, but if you go to patreon.com slash snark tank, you have no ads. Episodes. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it, it is ad free. It is <laughs> yeah. it is ad free and it's early. Yeah. It's early. Ninety ninety nine point nine percent of the time it's, it's early. It's early. And uh, for five dollars a and month. It's all, and it, you can get the free and, yeah, and you get the extra ammo. So Yeah, you yeah, get, we, you we get just wanted to one yeah, extra. Episode. We just wanted to we wanted to mention that <clears throat> because it's possible that like that might be weird, like a, a jarring shift. Uh we we switched we switched for a number of behind the scenes reasons that we won't get into, but you know the the free feed uh, is going to change a little bit, but uh, the Patreon yeah. feed is going to remain the same. You're still going to get a uh, ton of episodes over there. I also want to I just uh, want so. like, uh, to like to piggyback off of that is that it is the the quite a few more ads too is also it's it's a default setting, so it's something yeah, we're not, we're like, not yeah. choosing yeah. it. Yeah. We we don't have any control of it because I already kind of tried to mess with it and it was like no no, <laughs> and so I'm like okay fair enough. Uh, the the trade off really is that it is free and then there is. For one dollar, you can just get ad free and early. Like, right, that is a fucking sweet trade off, in my opinion. And then one totally, other thing yeah. for the free feeds, free feeds, the people that are listening right now on the free, the the second episodes, the second weekly episodes are now going to go live on Thursdays, just to space it a little bit because it was we first did Monday and Wednesday, but I'm like that's a little bit too close. I think yeah, uh, yeah. Monday and Wednesday just give people a little bit of a break, and then uh, mm-hmm. and then so it's not they're just not overwhelmed with content. So that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, we're shifting the schedule around. It, it, it was a little bit sandwiched in there. Yeah. Um. So, so now it should be, uh, we should be adjusting. There's obviously like a weird kind of transitionary period, uh, where the schedule might be a little bit in flux. But uh, that's ultimately the um, the new schedule. So we appreciate your patience on all that stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah, man, I figure it's give us your money another week. <laughs> yeah, give us your money or we'll kill you. Uh, there's no th- again, once again, 
There's nothing. There's nothing going on. I, 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 I str- There's only one thing that I saw. Now that I think about it, it's that picture of Chris Christie looking like a, looking like a, a like melted a, ice cream cone, like a smug piece of shit at the same time too. He's like, yeah. like it looks like he looks like he just you know he, he looks like the type of person that would just rip horrible ass in front of a bunch of people and then just be so proud of himself. Like, look what I Happy did. Happy as fuck look about it. That yeah, fuck it. These I people are dying. Up the room. <laughs> Dude, it is it is so bizarre how unhealthy these people look. <laughs> like consistently. Yeah, and that's and this is him like down like a hundred pounds or something. Yeah, he lost weight. Like that dude. <laughs> that motherfucker lost weight and this is what he looks like. He like melted ice cream. It is it's pretty bad. As a chubby <laughs> nigga, I have no I have no place to talk. I've been I've been gymming and eating healthier a lot. I mean ice cream today because I, I I got weak and I needed something to give me a, a pickup because my body's been aching it's all good, for man. days. Just but, fucking uh, you, cheat meals are important. Cheat meals are important. You need something, or else right. you buy rubber band back too hard. Hell but, yeah, dude. That's true. Yeah, but it's it's he looks he looks silly. He looks silly. He just it it's, it reminds me of that picture of uh, what is it? Oh my god, is it uh, is it Trump and Giuliani also where they just look so fucked? Like dude, they Giuliani all every, looks like a they demon, all bro. look so fucked. They yeah. all look so fucked. It's crazy. Did you see that? Um, that that New York. I understand, but it's is different, man. There's old, like, fucking what's his name? Uh, the Jeff Goldblum's old. Yeah, you know what true. I mean. But Jeff like, Goldblum's so, also was, well, he's also a sex symbol before he was old. I'm really. I understand. Hot. That's true. But Giuliani was a sex <laughs> symbol in the '90s. <laughs> no, he was not. Shut the <laughs> fuck. Up. Yeah, he was. Oh, yeah, he was. You don't remember? You don't remember that? Rudy Giuliani was never, was never a sex symbol, Chris. What are you talking? about? You don't remember? You, t- you don't remember Chris, the period in the '90s Chris? where he was he was referred to as Rudy Giuliani because he made all the women fucking wet. Chris. You remember that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chris, I would yeah, yeah. love. I would love if our parents were present and you said Ruli Giuliani was a sex symbol because I know both of our parents would be like what the fuck are you talking Dude, about he was the Especially man the he was like 90s? doing the, he looked the like Rico a charges Rubling. and shit he was Mr. He Rico like man everybody was trying to fuck him everyone was trying to fuck him like I mean because he had a bunch oh, of money man, you really That's handled it. those Rico fucking cases so good baby and he oh, was shit. like, "Stop and frizz is gonna be fucking sick isn't it <laughs> <laughs> do you remember do you guys remember when Trump tried to fuck him Remember uh, when, like he was, it was when he was he was he was no he was literally he was dressed as a woman and, and Trump tried to fuck him. You don't remember that? <laughs> I, I'm not even. I see. I'm, Can I tell you something? I'm, yeah, I'm not even a hundred. I'm not even a hundred percent lying about this. Okay, so what okay. does that mean? What is so you're not hundred percent lying? So, lie? so you'll, he, you'll you'll see you'll so see on the clip was, channel. So he was. Uh, <laughs> so you're saying that he was uh, in drag for some reason. Right, right, right. And then Rudy Trump Giuliani was like, was in drag, and hey, then Trump baby, was hitting on him. You're looking yeah. pretty good. Yeah, because I he was a you sex let symbol. Let me grab your fucking pussy, and then and then uh, and then and then it was. Like, I grabbed Giuliani by the by the big clit, and he didn't like it. He hated it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, you know what I forgot about, and we probably didn't even discuss it on the show. Those what? fucking uh, that those transcripts of him talking about those tits. Did you do you remember? Oh, that? that's right. Who was describing like, tits? We, what did did we not like, mention that? These are my tits. These are my t- dude, you don't we didn't talk about this at all. <laughs> I we totally pull, forgot about it. We gotta that. pull up that transcript because that is the craziest shit. I'll find it right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then do you know can you do a Giuliani, Rudy Giuliani? Can you can you do um I don't know how he sounds. I mean really, it's like. it's very Italian New York. It's it's very Yeah, uh, but he just he just kinda sounds like a guy to me. Like he doesn't because I grew up in that place, he doesn't Rudy sound Rudolph? distinct enough to my ears to That's impersonate. True. Rudy Probably Rudolph, I'm right? imagining so. I imagine Rudolph so. Giuliani. It, yes. it, yeah. Rudolph. When I, right, when I, I first I I realized found... that Rodolfo was Rudolph, I was really stunned. I was way older than I should have been, too. Because I've just heard, like, Rodolfo, and I'm like, oh, that's a, a fucking a, a yeah, bean well, with an, with an oh. Okay, I see it. I see it. I found it. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> I found it. It says... Okay. It, so, so I, I'm sup- if we... Look, if we did cover this before, I, I apologize we if we're doing... If we're double dipping, but, like, I, don't I totally remember forgot... remember doing this bit at all. <laughs> Mr. Giuliani, these breasts belong to me. Nobody else can get near these, okay? I don't care if they're flirting or they give you business cards. These are mine. You got it? Understand? I'm very fucking possessive. I've gone easy on you. <laughs> Dude, I'm trying to find the other... Oh, it's only one? Why would, they, why would this article only have one they of the transcripts? They wouldn't put the best part where he just That's saying... That's not even the best one, yeah. Over and over. He just keeps saying over and over, like, those are my tits. Or, like, these are my tits. Those like, give me my tits, give me my tips, give me my tits, they're my tits. And I'm like, yo. Dude, it really is. 
it really is. Oh, here's one. The way the way natural selection works, Jewish men have small cocks because they can't use them after they get married, whereas the Italian men use them all their lives so they get bigger. I just like how how do you <laughs> it's insane? How could you in it's what so world does that like what is does it does is it pussy juice that makes your dick grow? Because how does that yeah. work? No, it's the use yeah, you have of to your water penis. It. No, but see, like, if you use it with your hand, then wouldn't it grow? So, no, that's obviously not happening. When you're beating off, your dick's not growing. Yes. You, you are you are paying far too much attention <laughs> to, to anything science. that he is saying. I mean, come on. I want to know science. how he thinks this is real, though. Come here, big tit. Come here, big tits. Come here, big tits. Your tits belong to me. Give them to me. Parentheses indiscernible. <laughs> I, I want to claim my tits. I want to claim my tits. I want to claim my tits. These are my tits. These are my tits. Jesus so Christ! Stupid. That's fucking excellent. So dumb, dude. That's a real. That's a verbatim quote from Rudy Giuliani. God bless. Nice. You know, shout out to him. These so guys. God bless. I I just love that the, these these are the guys. Like these are the guys that are fucking uh, that are on top of their shit. They're the ones that fucking. Oh, the GDP Rudy Giuliani happened, right? selling fucking. Uh, oh, the, the yeah, the the second debate happened. I I I watch a recap later because I'm sure that's where the the fucking uh, Chris Christie that new uh, thing of him came from. So what was the new thing of him? Well, the, no, what we just discussed, like the, oh, the picture, what kicked this, yeah, what kicked this off. So that's where that came what's from. The, of, what's the name of that guy? That, that fucking that brown dude? Who the elf? Vivek uh, Vivek Ramaswamy or whatever the that fuck. I just want to slap. I just want to slap. That guy's a fucking elf. Bro. Have you guys see, have you seen the videos uh, circulating around that he's just literally almost some of them is verbatim stealing Obama's uh, campaign trail shit. Oh yeah, he totally is. Yeah, yeah, like there's a video side by side showing you that it's just being plagiarize shift around a little bit like oh copy my homework but just change it around a little bit and then some stuff is just literally word for word it, it, it's like come yeah, on yeah i have not man. i have not paid attention i have not been paying attention to the gop debate set at all because i just i sincerely don't yeah because you're you're not insane like that's, that's well i just i don't know man i like, to watch it you can watch it but here's the thing I'll, I'll, like a if, the if something entertaining happens I'll, I'll tune into like the entertaining clip right. I'm, not, I'm not gonna well, see the know. thing is Trump's not there so how entertaining can it be like fucking Chris Christie was trying to you trying to be all like smooth like oh Donald Trump's ducking the debate so y y we're gonna all start calling you Donald Duck and I was like yeah, get the fuck he said that yes he said that he literally no, said he that did not. he literally said that and I was like well, that is so <laughs> it's Chris, Chris Christie said that yes Yes, he, he should be killed. <laughs> that is crazy. I can't believe. I can't believe that he thought that was a good fucking rose. Yeah, that's that. But that's what we're dealing with, man. We're not dealing. Jesus, like, that's why it's like get him out stuff. of there. Get this man home. At bro. least Donald Jeez, Trump has better this guy clips. Stinks. <laughs> oh brother. <laughs> oh brother. Oh, this, this guy, guy stinks. stinks. <laughs> dude, honestly, yeah, for real. Like, tr dude, Trump. I, I just want. You know what would be amazing for Trump? Yeah, I would. I would be his. Uh, sincerely, I would be one of his biggest fans. If every election cycle he just came, he came out, joined the debates, uh, d did his little press conference where he got on stage and just like shit talked everybody, and then dropped out of the race. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I like mean, every election like cycle, like every four years a roast for Trump. Yeah, 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 just yeah. every every four years is like a new stand up set for 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 Trump he or whatever. Could like, do oh that. my god. This is perfect. This would you would have everybody. So many people would be on your side if you did that. You know what? I like, feel like he probably would have did that if he didn't you know have all these crazy? indictments. Because you know I feel crazy? like the only reason like he's he can, really, oh. I feel like the only reason he's really going through the presidency now is like, oh fuck, the only way I can get out of prison is becoming the president. Because I feel like he probably would have like he would have <laughs> teased you? forever. I think it would have teased forever that he's gonna run and never would have did it. Because he's just like, I don't need to run anymore. I, I'm, I'm already as famous as I'm ever going to be. These people are still going to keep giving me money, millions of dollars from his from his fans, and never run. Even before he even that announced that he was so running. Crazy. But, but now that Gary, he's like, oh think, shit, you, I'm going to get Gary, butt think, fucked. I don't think you fully appreciate how wild that premise is. Yeah. The only way that I can avoid prison <laughs> is if I become the president. <laughs> oh, become president again. It sounds like right. a stupid fucking show. It sounds like a dumb, it sounds like a it dumb literally fucking Simpsons sounds, episode. It, <laughs> dude, it sounds like a fucking, like, like Disney show, like That's So Raven or something. <laughs> no, it's, it's, <laughs> no, it sounds like South Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like something they would do in South Park, but it's real. It, 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 is, it is a real, and there's... Motherfucker, it's the stupidest... And some polls <sighs> are showing that he's polling better than Biden, which is a little concerning. I'm, I, I, it's a it's a little concerning. It, it is because I, I I really I I guys I say this 
and I don't even say this hyperbolically because I have a I have a European wife that there is a slight possibility that I might just we we already talked about hey maybe let's go move to fucking Spain because her being a, um in the a, a EU citizen. I can actually get over there easy and then fucking just oh. chill. And then I think after yeah. being there five years, I can be like a citizen or something. So, I don't, but my thing, my thing is this, right? I, this is why, like, I, like, I've always, like, I've always wondered this, right? Yeah. No, he why hasn't. Why do people go to Europe? Insane. Because they're barbarians there. Like, why go? What to you... where those savages are? <laughs> like, I did, like, like what? in my real heart of heart, like Americans suck. We're insane. We're just sit up crazy. Like the mental health problems in America is unbelievable. Who are it's the like, savages? It's like to the point that it's in but Europe. They're savages. Who? Who? Europeans in general. Open a book. Open a, open a book written by them, and they'll be like, do you, "Yeah, for a period of time, we were walling. We were shit in the street, setting each other on fire, trying to find a Jewish god in the middle of Europe. We were just doing a bunch of wild things." Is is what year do you think this is, sir? But there's, that's their blood. That's in their. That's in their. That's in their DNA. It's in their. Cold. Are you just going on like a racist diatribe right now? Is <laughs> that what's happening? Is that yeah. what's happening right now? <laughs> Like, as you watch, I slowly get a freaking, what you call it, on my head and a dashiki. You get up like a dashiki? <laughs> I think it gets fucked up. He's so fucking. Listen, listen. That would rule. That listen, would fucking I, rule. Look, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know what's no, going to happen. No I, for I, can't, I can't abide by Chris Christie existing any further. So, That's look, cool. I, it's, it's, Chris, it's. I can't do this anymore. He's got to die. Chris Krispy Kreme is. Look, I will give him one, one thing only. He's really the only nigga right now that will shit on Donald Trump. He's the he's the like the only one that's openly he already knows he ain't gonna win, so all he's trying to do is just, you know, maybe suck a few votes away from Trump, I guess. But like right, yeah. I I respect that cl- the f- I, the clown sir- <laughs> dude we we literally are in a circus right now the fact that like oh, there's yeah, yeah. The, the 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 front runner that's not even debating cuz he knows he's already going <laughs> to be the nominee that has four indictments and he is obviously guilty it's it it, it you know ma- what sucks about it what's you know what up? sucks about it really like not even from a political standpoint it's just like just objectively speaking this is so boring like it's this it's it's just the same shit again. You know how, like, we always complain or, like, there, there's a, a big uh, point of contention in, like, media, how, like, we're always, like, rehashing ideas and how it's like, oh, man, you know, like, oh, we're going to reboot fucking uh, The Office or, like, oh, we're going to remake fucking this game. Oh, we're yeah. going to reboot this movie trilogy or fucking whatever. It's like, ah, this we're just rebooting politics now. It's just like, oh, Donald Trump, bring him back. Because, like, in 2016, remember that? Yeah, remember that? It's like, <laughs> I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, that it's is real. so bland. That's Can we, real. I, even if we had a new person who was, like, crazier. You know what I mean? We almost did. The freaking Floridian dude. DeSantis is not as crazy. He sucks, but he's not I as crazy. I think DeSantis is worse than Trump. Well, Trump, is, uh, Trump will, Trump will no. say wilder shit. DeSantis will try to make more fucked up things happen. <laughs> yeah, well, I agree with the uh, with the because the type of stuff that he's done, the the draconian shit that he's doing in Florida like, is kind of insane. DeSantis is fucking. He's a right, bad right, right. <laughs> but 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 at least but you understand. At least that's something else. You know what I mean? I, I, that's something uh, else. I don't want that nigga, man. You know what I want? Yeah, it's I not want, about wanting him. It's I want not about Donald Trump. Him. It's about I would like you, you want DeSantis versus DeSantis that. versus somebody else. I, get, I don't no, think DeSantis would win. And I'd be happy with that. Oh, he wouldn't win because it'd, it'd that, be something fucking new. We, we, he's he's been exposed as being he's he is on the the spectrum. He is he broke the freaking meter of the spectrum. Like he's so just. Have you seen that motherfucker try to smile? He is the sheepy sheepish. He is the most sheepish person I've ever fucking seen in my life. That bro. motherfucker is a Sith, bro. He is. <laughs> that <laughs> motherfucker is a he Sith, can't, bro. He literally does not know how to smile. Like literally, he does not know. I he, saw that video of him struggling to smile, like, trying to smile on camera. That's the most popular one, but I mean, there there are dozens. If, he, if there, there's so the many, to get, the only way to get him to smile is to let, hurting gay people in front of him. Didn't he call his smile and laugh his ass off? Then didn't he if like call not, his? He can't do it, mommy. Did, am yeah, I misremembering yeah, yeah, yeah. this, or no. did he call his wife his mommy? Mom? His mommy. mommy. 
He says, okay. "My mommy, I mean my wife," and I'm like, "Yo, that's all right, well, <laughs> dude." We gotta, he, like, yeah, right. we, now, we, we, we gotta move on. We, we gotta move on. Mistakes, I hate, but like, I fucking not, hate politics. Little, I, don't, I don't even care anymore. That's a little sussy baka baka ness, you know? Yeah, I've definitely called my teacher mommy before. I just want everybody to pull their dicks and tits out, man. Let's make this shit interesting. That's that'd be great. That'd be great. I want to see. I want to see how bad the damage in the Pelosi shirt is. You know? So let's see how. Like, is it? Is it? Is no, it not that, that bad? Did you, you see? That. Did like, you guys oh. see that that Time <laughs> was it Time bro. magazine or, or like the the New Yorker magazine where there was like a political cartoon on the cover of like Diane Feinstein and um, uh, uh, Mitch McConnell and and Trump and Biden and they were like in like a like a race. Um, but they were all like geriatric and fucked up, and they were like no. walking with walkers and stuff. No, somebody I, I don't even remember who the fuck it was. It was some I think some Democrat or, or something, just some political figure who was like, "It's actually it's not okay to this is ageism, and this is not okay to be to be insulting uh, the, uh, people in 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 power like this." It's like fuck you. The, res- the respect. I, I just replied. I, I, retu- I retweeted it. I was like, I was like, shut up, loser. And it like, it, <laughs> dude, it's so. Why are you protecting old people who are fucking you over, specifically? <laughs> I feel age, like that's politics. In, that's like, like politics in general. Respect yeah, like, fuck your old elders. Pe- it's like, no, fuck old people. They're old. They should die. No, no, no. I, I will respect elders. No, who I are won't. not politicians. I respect I elders know. that are respectable. That's it. Old motherfuckers need to die. They're taking up our fucking air. The baby boomers have only made the world worse. I'm sick of them, bro. All you I'm gotta, sick of them. <laughs> All you gotta the do is roundhouse kick. The only old person is my grandma. That's the only good one. That's period. The only yeah, one. And even she's pretty questionable these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, she's senile now. So like, <laughs> <laughs> you got to roundhouse kick these motherfuckers in the in the in the hip, and they go down. All right, let's. That's let's about it. Whatever. Let's, step, let's, let's, they go step. down. Once the, once let's they shatter their the, hip, they're done. <laughs> you had some guys some walking up to old people and slapping and just... them on the hip real hard and breaking it, <laughs> bro. You got, it's you crazy. Got, you got less than a year left. <laughs> do you, do you remember that? Do you, do you guys remember that that video? We'll move on uh, after this. But do you do you remember? Do you guys remember that video of the the that like? It was like a crowd of police officers, and they pushed that old man on the ground. And he yeah, dude. Instantly. I think it was during the pandemic, and yeah, like it was during, co- it was during the riots. Out of his ears. Dude, <laughs> it's it was fucking, crazy. That, that shit is a ground awesome. He's gonna bleeding fast, bro. Dude, I really, it's I don't know, man. I don't. <laughs> I, I, I never like getting super political on the on these episodes because it's just like I, I just I just want to make people laugh. But like, fuck that. I I really that videos like that really make me just loathe police policemen. Like I, I fucking I, I don't get it. It it but makes it it whatever. makes it it is so absurd that thinking about it makes me laugh because it's like it just something like this should it it just doesn't seem real with how fucking evil what it is me so much is that <laughs> it I doesn't seem to real a, i wanted to be a cop so badly when i got old when i was younger because i felt like being a cop was such an honorable thing and then i grew up in new york and i had my first interaction with a cop in new york and i was like oh these niggas suck they are terrible <laughs> yeah, these are yeah, terrible yeah, yeah, terrible yeah, yeah. people <laughs> They're uh, they're, yeah. bullies. they're, they're literally bullies. They're I just almost, bullies. I almost uh, <laughs> yeah. joined the uh, the academy, uh, the Maricopa County Academy, because I wanted to. Uh, it was this was in two thousand eight when I was like, you know what, this this the, you get paid a lot down here, blah 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 blah. But then it was really, it was really the reaction that I got from some people. The reaction that I got from my mom was the one thing that really, because I was thinking. I was this motherfucker that was just bouncing around doing a uh, uh, musician shit and like trying to go on tour and all this stuff. And then so she was like, okay, this dude's not selling down and he's being an idiot. So I thought she would actually appreciate me trying to go into a real field. But then since I was like a cop thing, she was like, ugh. Kind of, she, her reaction was kind of like, you can't come back. I won't, I won't hug you no more. <laughs> like, a cop. Fucking a cab. I was like, oh shit. Oh my God. And then, like, Jesus Christ. And then I was just thinking like, uh, she didn't say that, but like her fucking, her of body language. <laughs> and I don't think your mom, my mom, I don't think like, your mom A-cab, said a cab when you were a child. And she was like, that would be into- so fucking funny if she said a cab to you. Bra- you no, little then, dumb ass just like oh my bad Bob and yeah yeah yeah. yeah but the, and then I was also there was a, there was also the, the nail on the head hit uh, the fi- the straw and the camel back I, I can't speak right now we'll it, it, there was some lady got <laughs> fired some lady cop got fired stroke. yeah almost almost well I'm actually I'm actually recovering from uh yo you know why I was fucked up we're recording oh yeah that's right yes yeah, so we're recording the, uh, the, the these episodes a little bit um behind schedule but it doesn't matter we're still gonna have it coming on time uh I didn't know. I got lucky. I almost skipped a dentist appointment. I had a, a six month follow up that I was gonna skip because I wasn't feeling good. And I'm like, I don't fucking care. But I went, and I'm glad that I did because I've been feeling like shit, and I had no idea why. Apparently, 
uh, my wisdom teeth uh, need to be pulled out. I already got one out. I need to get the other ones out. One of them is fucked up, and like so oh, much man. so that I, I don't, I didn't feel it until I don't know if this has ever happened to you before. You didn't realize something until someone's explained something to you. Like I didn't realize that like the hunger headaches were a thing until uh, my my stepmom was like, "Yo, uh, man, I have a hunger head. Like I've, I'm so hungry that I'm starting to get a headache." And then when I was like, I never made that connection before. And now, like, say, if I go, you know, most of the day without eating, I'll start getting a headache or something. And I'm like, you fucking bitch. Like, I never would have probably paid attention oh, to that. Is that is that why my head always hurts? I mean, if you're like it literally happened to me, I'm not sure if you're if you're making a joke or not. But uh. no, I, I mean, I, I usually have like a hand. I usually have a handful of Honey Nut Cheerios a day. Yeah. If, if, if you're if you're being genuine, I guarantee you that is the real reason, because that is oh, man. You, you'll get a headache from not eat your your fucking they'll send signals in and Agonize your brain, <laughs> but see, why my head hurts. This, this that's why my head just hurts. In uh, I was I was a high schooler when this happened to me, and then I was kind of like, I wish I didn't know this knowledge because I didn't realize it before. I just kind of did. I didn't make the connection. Uh, cause, <laughs> I wish I was. I wish I was stupid. I wish I was stupider for sure. I wish I was an ignorant motherfucker. But uh, um, so I, wh- why I was saying that is. I have an infection in my my wisdom tooth like it's like pretty bad the the dentist told oh, me shit. but I didn't notice I didn't really feel it until they started jabbing me and now I actually feel the pain and I was like oh that makes sense I thought I was having sinus headaches and stuff I've been all fucked up and feeling terrible I've been feeling awful and I couldn't figure out why I thought like it had to do with my stomach or something was going on I couldn't figure it out long story short I started taking some antibiotics and I feel I'm so much better. It's laughable that because now that I've been treating it, That's and crazy. so yeah, I'm just I don't know why my tooth is that fucked up because in March they were like, all right, your teeth are pretty good. You just need to get this pulled out, and now they're like, yo, your tooth fucked. We need to put uh four hundred dollars worth of antibiotics in your mouth right now. I should, and I was like, I, fuck I should. you. <laughs> I, I should go to the dentist. It's been a like the, the, the pandemic really. You got, you the pandemic insane, really fucked my perception bro. of like when I should. You know what I mean? You because should. like the, the the pandemic happened, and then I was just like, ah. Eh. And I haven't been like since the pandemic. Twice a like year, man. Twice a year. year. You twice go year. to you go to the doctor. You go to the doctor for a checkup four times a year. You go to a dentist. I've been to the doctor since twice 2019. A year. Yeah, go go because you you, you don't know. know. A dentist twice a year. Take it from me. I felt fine. As far as I even asked JoJo, I was like, yo, did you notice, like, my teeth being any worse off than they are or my breath fucking smelling like shit or anything? Because I would imagine, like, if I have an infection, something should be off. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so I was actually really shocked, shocked by that. And But it also, I guess maybe I should have – whatever. I didn't make the connection because I've been feeling like right. shit. I've just been kind of turning – you know how when you go to work, you, you get professional. You turn it on. You're feeling like shit, but you're like, all right. Got to turn it on. Exactly. Yesterday, yeah, exactly. Couldn't do it. I tried, and I was fucking. I was like, "This is gonna be." I'm gonna be like, we recorded an extra ammo, uh, listeners, uh, free feed listeners. We recorded an extra ammo one time after uh, uh, Sweeney got home from the gym, and this nigga was fucking falling asleep I into fell the mic four times. He was bro. fucking I was four his times, head man. was fucking just in I the was mic just out, bro. I don't do. <laughs> Waking up at seven and going to the gym is so brutal. Hey, and we always have to record right after. Yeah, I, w- I wouldn't know anything about that, brother. Uh, it sucks. I'm sorry. Good for, good before for you. Before the before the creator cr- crash, I was I was doing two a days because I wake up at seven uh, every day to take JoJo to work. Except for Fridays, I wake up at six, and so I would go to the gym right after I drop her off. So I go to the gym around like about eight, and then I would go when we uh, when she would get off work. And so I was doing two a days. It was fucking hard, but I was killing it until I got sick coming home from the Crater yeah. Clash, and then I just ruined my life. I when, when I you wanna, get sick, wanna, it, it, getting two sick a is, like a, is, like a, is like a factory reset. Man. Like, totally. I want to do, do two a days, but I know the condition I'll be in for that first like two weeks. You should not be, be doing two a days. I want to ask you something right now. Why do you not drink caffeine? I, like, why? I just don't. I just, I've, never, I've never been someone that really enjoys it. I don't like how I feel when I'm caffeinated. You don't like feeling awake? I feel jittery. I don't feel it. I just feel that like that just means shaky. you're taking too much caffeine, so you take I, less. I don't like it, man. I've never been a professional for like I, not even from tea or anything. Look, I just like I just that don't makes, that's like do being it. like that's that's, that's like being like sense. I don't like I don't like eating ten. I don't like eating fifteen pounds of pizza because I don't like feeling heavy afterwards. <laughs> it's like you don't have to eat. 15 no, pounds of it. You I, just I have think, a, I think the it's exact my, amount that you need. I think it's my reaction to caffeine in general is fucky. No way. You, no, 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 I don't, like I I drink, don't buy I drink, that. I drink one coffee and I just feel gross. You don't, don't drink. It. I don't. Look, I get my caffeine. I don't drink coffee. I mean, I can. I like coffee, but I don't drink it for my, for my uh, energy. 
I drink he gets it, it straight from the caffeine cow. Yeah, I, <laughs> I yeah, I just fucking start. I'll be <laughs> sucking his teeth. The caffeine <laughs> yeah. cow. Teeth. Yeah, yeah. It's it's this gr- it's just this gritty sandpaper textured cow <laughs> that you just milk the caffeine out of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just think, those, like, I really think you need some, brother. Especially now that you're 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 getting back in your gym grind. Like I, I gotta, use just enough. Because I've had I've had heart issues for since 2016, even though it's kind of started it yeah. like kind of fixed itself now. Yeah, but can't love. because of that, I had to very, I, <laughs> I had to regulate my caffeine intake by, I had to take it down a ton, and so mm. it would just be just enough to stabilize myself. Never jitters, never too much or anything like that, where my heart would go crazy. Bro, I'm not one. Be, I'm not. You can't. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not one to talk because I like I, I have. I get headaches when I don't have caffeine. Like sincerely, right. like, I, like I, I need you will it. get caffeine withdrawals absolutely if you don't have enough caffeine after a while. But the thing is, that's like a if you have if you have caffeine regularly, for you, uh, you just need a little bit to stabilize yourself, man. Like you're yeah. you're you're getting older. I can't stabilize. You're getting I can't older, stabilize, bro. That's it. I'm just I'm dying. I'm just dying. He, he, he gives that's up. It. He gives up immediately. He just that's it. I'm like, just dying. The, the, I know it. Na- I know it. It's fine. You shouldn't need a nap. Like after like a, a like a little gym sesh for like fuck it. That's just you need to just take a little caffeine. You'll nah, be dude, all that right. That shit hurts, bro. A fucking a fucking hour and a half gym set where I go in. I'm like, bro, I'm gonna get I'm gonna knock out hour of lifting. After hour lifting, my body I'm stuck standing like I'm trying to flex and I'm not. I'm just I'm just the position my body's in. And then I do a half an hour of cardio and my body's like, yo, dude. You gotta get in the house before you die. So my yeah. whole the whole venture to get to my house, sit down. I sit on the bed. Do you? And I tell the, Lily if I do, don't wake up, I'm sorry. Do you go and to the gym? She starts uh, working. Do you go to the gym with people? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, cool. Well, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Do you take any recovery supplements? Yeah, of course. Yeah, have to recovery supplements. Who are you going so with? You, are you going with? The, are you going with the mean? Yeah, me and the mean go oh, every, cool. one, every other day. That's I good. can't stand you. So you you'll take recovery supplements, but you won't just add a little caffeine to it. You got, you got to recover. You got to get back what you lost, bro. But you need to boost your. Oh my god! Like brother, H- hands you, off. They, you yeah, got to yeah. get back what you lost, bro. You gotta I, I, hands I, I, off. I He'll figure to, it out. Yeah. He'll figure it out eventually. He, well, eventually, when he falls asleep driving. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah that's, dude. That dude. That's and real, I'm that's, fine. And I bet I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Everybody else will be hurt. That's true. Like, oh no! That's usually what happens when people fall asleep behind the wheel. Like since they're all relaxed and shit, they just yeah. Actually, roll with scientifically, it. scientifically, you're way better off if you yeah. fall asleep behind the wheel. <laughs> beep beep. He get, gets hit. Like, Did you oh, see that? No, I fell asleep when I when I worked at six. So when no. When I worked at Sears. When I worked at Sears in like 2012, 2013, I fell asleep driving home. Oh my god! Because it was like it was like Black Friday or something, and I was I was I think I went there. I don't remember if it was Black Friday morning or Black Friday the day after. I don't remember. It was like it was a really busy weekend, and I remember coming in. I would go in at six a.m. and I would go. I would stay there till like four, and then I went home, had like Thanksgiving dinner, mm. and then went back out for Black Friday. Very so cool. like I, I would like six a.m. to four. Then I slept for like an hour, ate food, left at seven. And I got there at like eight, th- and I was like there eight thirty to like four a.m. Do you remember those times, man? Remember Dude. working like a slave on Black Friday? Do you remember that shit? Oh yeah, my I do remember. God, I did do um, Coles. I worked at Coles, and I, I, that was my uh, my only. That was my only Black Friday experience because all my other jobs weren't like rel- a relative to that. But Dude, yeah. I worked in a I worked in a mall on Black Friday. I worked at a and Starbucks it was so on bad. Black Friday, and that's the only thing open because and around that and around a, a holiday time. They close every other fast food store because, you know, they have souls. But Starbucks would be open. I remember working my – there was one time in Fishkill. There were, like, 30 people that came in. A, a party of, like, 13 came in, and we were just making drinks, making drinks. And we would get bigger tips on those days, but those tips did not validate the fact that how hard we had to work on the days we should be spending time with our family. And probably all so the I remember dumb eating cunts, dinner. right? I remember, I remember I woke up – this is when I was, like – 21 so i was like because in my early, early 20s obviously goes to that period of time you're not really talking to your family i was supposed to hanging out with these guys so i wasn't really around my family too often i woke up said i love you grandma good morning happy happy holidays went to work came back home and everyone was already done eating for black friday for like for christmas for our thanksgiving eight yeah. and then went right back out to go shopping i didn't see my family at all that weekend and i'm just i look back at those moments and i'm like dude 
this is not how you're supposed to live. Dude, that was that was the thing that convinced me. That was the thing that convinced me to quit. I was like, dude, I'm I'm not I'm not dying for Sears, man. I'm not I'm like yeah, no yeah, way yeah. in hell insane, am I dying dude. on my way home falling asleep. I've never fallen asleep at the fucking wheel before and not since, by the way. Mm. Like not since have I it's done that. That's wild, dude. Like thinking, looking back at like going off of cuz like I don't I I personally don't go out on Black Friday anymore because well, there's of no how point much anymore. I don't agree with it. Well, I don't. I don't agree. I don't agree with the sentiment of it existing. Well, in I general. don't. Yeah, I. I totally. But even I now, I just never. I never really. Did everything it, is so fair. fucking. No, we, we, we used. To, we used to. You were going you, with us. We didn't do anything. Like I. I, I went out. I think twice in my entire I, life for Black I've Friday. I definitely went out with more than one Black Friday with you. Because there was one around the time of Destiny when the, that PS4 came out. You were with us that day. Yeah, and then you're I think, with us another yeah. two Black Fridays. Why but I'm would, saying like I think I. I worked one Black Friday and I think I went. I think. In my entire life, I've been to maybe five Black Fridays. Two, like one when I was a kid, two in Fishkill, and I think maybe three here. I what's think. Cra- what's crazy is but that I, don't I didn't know I don't it existed so. until I moved upstate. So when I was in New York City in the Bronx, I didn't know it existed. No clue. Mm. And then I moved upstate, and in like the year of like 2016, I, know when what I you really mean. heard of it. I was like I 16 and I heard of it. And I was like, oh. Okay, and then I heard people were dying, and I was like, "Holy shit, <laughs> this is crazy!" Because I, I lived right next to the Walmart, so I was like, "Am I gonna go?" And I went. I didn't have money yet because I was like fucking sixteen. I didn't really have money yet. But now, like on, like I just don't go out those days. I like make sure I stay away from them. I do do a lot of shopping in that per area of time because pretty much Black Friday is at the start of the fucking end of November. The end of November, the end of um October is pretty much Black Friday now. Yeah. Well, what we would what we, what we would do. Initially, when we moved out here, is like we we specifically had chickens giving on the day after Thanksgiving. What? Mm-hmm. Like our our we had like a friends giving basically, oh. uh, where we just instead of turkey, we just made all these chicken dishes and like mac and cheese and like a bunch of uh, honestly like just southern food basically. The fact that you're like, not here, except for me, I'd make Caribbean food, but I'm the only person. Everybody would make like but southern yeah, but food like, for me. Yeah, like I, I would make wings. Uh, there are some people who would make like mac and cheese and and, and other stuff, and and we did it on Friday specifically. So that we could just go on, we we could do Black Friday on Thanksgiving night, mm-hmm. and we could go and like, we would just get our shopping done, and we wouldn't miss out on anything, and we could still eat it. We got to like figure out about that day. this year already because it's, it's that's fast approaching. In fact, we got time to figure that out. We do. We're probably gonna we're gonna rent somewhere this year. Or probably not. I don't probably. know. Whatever. We'll we'll figure it out. It doesn't matter. Let's get into. Are questions. you gonna be down here? You're gonna be down here this this holiday or what? I I have I don't know. I have no idea what's happening. Um. I mean, I could try to be down here so you can spend it with us. I could, I, I yeah, I, we'll figure some shit out. Fucking, Whatever, we'll figure, we'll figure everything out. Yeah, figures. Damn, dirty <sighs> figure. All right, figure. Let's, let's figure all right relax. Out. Let's, uh, let's get into some questions already. Let's do right? it. Let's, let's do hear, it. Let's hear. <clears throat> oh my god, my mom calls me the hard R when she's mad. Wrote in, <laughs> says, "Hey, Malibu, most wanted. Which Arthur, which Arthur would win a Royal Rumble to deserve the name?" Arthur Spooner from King of Queens, Arthur Reed from PBS, or Arthur Morgan uh, from who, Arthur Weasley. I don't even know who Arthur Weasley is, but uh, That's Arthur Ron's Morgan. Brother. I don't care about him. Who's brother? Arthur Morgan versus the Aardvark versus <laughs> Jerry Stiller. <laughs> the idea th- of seeing Arthur Morgan beat up Arthur Reed is so fucking funny to me. It's a battle of the Arthurs. I'm warning Arthur you, Royale. boy. You better get out of my way. And he's like, no, I'm a knitter. And he I'm starts beating the shit out of him. <laughs> I warned you, boy. I warned you, boy. Dude, that's yeah. wild. I mean... He would win. Morgan would win. It would be... it. W- well, I've seen... Uh, I've seen the, uh, the little one beat up Vegeta in a... In what a, are like, you fucking talking about? Oh, and the Tenkaichi dub mods. I've seen I've seen some pretty weird shit, and uh, and, and there, there's things out there where he like <laughs> that little kid actually is pretty powerful. Arthur the Aardvark, <laughs> yeah, Arthur defeating Reed. Vegeta in combat. Yeah, What's Vegeta, going on? Prince of Saints. I've yeah, seen Vegeta. It. I've seen that's it. not th- yeah, but that's not can that's not real, okay? <laughs> yeah, you know how strong these, Arthur's imagination well, is, bro. It, it can't be canon of all these Arthur's brawling, so. <laughs> 
<laughs> we kind of have to. We can bend the rules a little bit. I guess, but damn, he got you. That he, I guess that's a, that, is a good, that, that is a good. That is a good. That is a good response. <laughs> but uh, in that case, I've seen Arthur Morgan do some crazy shit too. And the, do you ever see those those videos of him like throwing a kid into space? And no, stuff? no. In fact, I've, no, I've never seen Arthur do crazy shit. I've seen crazy shit get done to Arthur. Really? I've never seen, seen, seen the him videos. do crazy I, I was trying to misrepresent them. And ho- hopefully, like, no, hopefully no one would have checked me. That <laughs> is true. I've seen videos of Arthur Morgan getting beat up by children. By Jack. <laughs> with a little yeah, knife. Yeah, 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 with his yeah. little knife, bro. <laughs> no, I actually, you awesome. know, TikTok, I, I pretty much only subscribe to or follow. I follow people that I know, and then the only other pages that I follow is Red Dead. It's RDR2 mod pages. That's it. And it's usually some guy that's just... One of them's not even mods. It's just one guy that's so good at just shooting everybody. Like, there'll be like a gang of people who'll threaten them, right? And then they'll be like... And then they'll be, oh, I'm just kidding. And then he'll pull out his six shooter and kill all of them like immediately. And it's, it's so impressive. It's so fucking impressive. It's like someone who's like really good at their aiming. And uh, other mods of like... <laughs> Pushing people really far, or uh, somehow people following you on roofs and then pushing them off and shit, and like just doing—it's <laughs> just falling. It's just pushing people off of shit. It's—I uh, don't know why, but uh, somebody has I, a, a lot of pages like that. So I am absolutely floored by this question. I'm going to send you guys a, a tweet that uh, hey guys. that 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 signifies what this is about. So I'm, I'm about to read it, All right. and uh, I I really uh hey guys. So Ashlet. Ashlet wrote in, and she uh, she says, "Hey guys, I just had my name legally changed to Ashley Combat Evolved J. I what name, first, middle, or last, would you change yours to be?" And she 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 includes proof that she did it, and she fucking did. No, <laughs> she no! did. Her name is. <laughs> Her name is Ashley Combat Evolved. No, which is Way. fucking crazy. Ashley, why? Hey, that yo. is so fucking cool, man. Ashley, hey, no, it, Ash, no, it's not. Ashley, that is no, awesome. Not. Ashley, Ashley, I'm happy for you. I'm glad you made your choice. I'm glad you're happy with it. But let's talk. Okay, Combat Evolved. Go beyond involved. that. That's not. That's so. No, that rules. That rules. That rules. That is so. That is so cool. I can't even. I can't even believe it. You know what's interesting? I've always thought about changing my name, but then I was the only person that I, I was thinking of. Oh, maybe my mom would be really offended because you know my my dad's in the dirt. That don't matter. But like, so just like, all right, my mom maybe she'll be mad or something. Are you named after your dad? I'm at, I'm named after my dad, so it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. Well, isn't everybody? Yeah, well, typically, but unless Not, the well, dad was a piece of well, trash and they gave the yes. mom's name. Yes, that's but. usually what happens. Like, say, oh, dad sucks, and then we'll give him, oh, we'll give the mom's name because I don't want your dad rep- anywhere in your life or something. But I, default, I have, I have my father's first name, but not his last name. Okay, but yeah, you have you, your dad's entire name, right? I, I just, uh, wait, who, who are you asking me? You, Jarek, is your yeah, dad's I, I, have, I have his last, name? I have his uh, last name. I don't, I'm not a. Well, there's no junior going on or nothing. Oh, okay, no, gotcha. no, no, okay, so no, no. My my fine. dad's name is Mark, which that's what like uh, it's. It, it's so weird. My, my <laughs> R.I.P. Marcus. Yeah, my, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Did you I mean, think literally. about that? Did that cross your mind at all when you were seeing that? You so, were like, wait a minute. It didn't. No, <laughs> nothing. No, that didn't. Because I actually have a. I have an uncle named Marcus, but he was. He was. Uh, he was disabled. So like, it was. He. Uh, he didn't live. Classic. He didn't live super. Super long. Um. Just. It's weird. My both of my uncles. They. My. My. The last kids that my grandma had. Just. I don't know what happened. Like my my uncle they got fucking abducted by aliens. Something happened because my uncle Michael is Arrested Development, and then my my Marcus he just he didn't make it that long because he was a uh, he, he he was you know he was disabled and stuff like that. But I thought of I thought I thought of Marcus, but the only thing that weirded me out was the, the, this was a weird coincidence. The number that I have, uh, I think uh, the number that I had prior to the one that I have now, the person was named Marcus that had it before. So. It was a crazy coincidence that that rest in peace Marcus thing happened. All of a sudden, I would get some text messages saying, "Hey Marcus," and I thought it was somebody fucking with me. I thought it was maybe some type of troll that like docks me and got my info or some shit. And I'm like, "What the fuck? Like, how? Who the fuck is this?" <laughs> and it just happened to be no somebody named Marcus had the phone before. I'm like, "How? What the fuck kind of coincidence is that? What, how does how does that even happen?" But uh, anyway, small. the world's small but also big. It is. You, it, you actually have another example of that. I dropped my wallet one time, and uh, my old phone number was. I had business cards when I was doing um, background acting. My business mm-hmm. cards were in there. So the the lady that found my wallet, 
uh, called that number. I didn't have that number anymore. But the number got transferred to my stepsister. My youngest stepsister somehow miraculously got that number at her new house. And so, like, she's like, hey, they called me. And I was like, how the fuck is that even? That makes no sense. That some of the person that I know out of the 60,000 people that lived in my city, the, the person that I know that I live with for most of my life got that number. And I was just That's like, this is weird. bullshit. This, is, this doesn't make any sense at all. Weird shit. The world's but, small but big, bro. Th- exactly. But yeah, anyway, I, was, I, w- I, was, I want to change my name. Uh, I asked my mom about this. The weird thing was I thought she was going to be like, what the fuck? Like, are you stupid? She like didn't really even say anything. I don't think she gives a fuck either way. <laughs> She's like, yeah, whatever. I asked her, I'm like, what do you think if I changed my name to something traditionally African? Like, you know, like I was like, what if I might, like, changed my name to Kamaru or some shit? Like, how would you feel about that? And she was like, oh, whatever. And I was like, what? I, I thought she that, was going to be like, no, you should be, like, proud of your, your shit. And I, I, she seems like she doesn't give a fuck. Why would you change it is, it is kind African? of. The fuck? That's so dumb. Wait, it, it is kind just of strange. That. Like, I get why. Like, it makes sense. But, like, it is kind of strange that you don't really have a say in your name. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I, I, it makes I sense. I understand why. I understand why that's a tradition. I understand why it happens that way. But it is it is bizarre that the way that you will be referred to until you die is not your choice. It's not your choice. I think it's you very should. Weird. I think it's. I think moving forward, I, I honestly think like Gen Z and up and everything, it should be um, once they're old enough to understand, like really understand like what and how that process works and everything, that. You should be able to upgrade if you if you if you so choose, and if it's reasonable. Like say, if I was a parent and my kid was like, "I fucking hate my name," which there's a possibility because the names that I have, you know, the the, the names that I yeah. that, that, that I not like them. would not like, like, they may not like them. And then so if they're like, "I want to change my name," I'd be like, "Within reason, your your name's not you can you can you can your name's not gonna be Dracula. I'm just telling you that. Like your name's not gonna be fucking <laughs> Dr- like your name's not gonna be Dracula or Obama or something. But like I'll consider something reasonable." <laughs> Obama, and you have to address them like that too. <laughs> Obama, <laughs> clean up your room. Obama, I, I want to change my name room. to like a regular size name because for years of my life I'd play like RPGs and I'd have seven characters and not six and not eight, so I'd never be able to put my full name. So I'd put like Ben or Luke ben or something or like Luke. that. You wouldn't just put King because <laughs> King sounds it's pretentious. Oh my! No one's really named King, bro. I mean, there's a you lot are of named it's, King. A, it's a common Same. last name. I've actually known. Ben. I know three uh, King I personally. Put in Jameson. Yeah, <laughs> so I just put in Jameson. That just works, I guess. Just but put in now. I just put Kingston without the O, so it's Kingston. Kingston. <laughs> <laughs> Kingston. <laughs> I don't know why you wouldn't embrace King, embrace King, because that's just I don't dope. Like King. It's like fucking like Tekken, it. man. Like King. That's, that's the shit. We just yeah. We're gonna start wearing a leopard mask and start by people wonder Dude, if I'm really a leopard or not. No idea how much more I'd respect you if you fucking just started doing that. If you just decided to commit to the fact that you were just basically a, a part leopard, to the point where you would, to the point where people around you wouldn't be entirely sure. Dude, the fact that he <laughs> roared and stuff—that's what Dude, got me. I was like, why you, is he roaring? You have no idea how much. Uh, Sometimes when I like it, it's okay. Tekken three, for example, sometimes when I, when something, cause one way that he would win, he would do a thumbs down and he would make a specific roar. It would be Arr. like, I would do that shit. Like I would just randomly fucking go like, <laughs> I fucking yeah, love this King, bro. Stupid as and bricks. He'll, he'll like, <laughs> when, he, when he starts his uh, chain combo to do that German suplex, like it just, he does two specific like barking roars. Like, arr, arr. like I, I, I fucking have that shit memorized, bro. I, I was obsessed with King when I was a kid. I, want, I, I just didn't know what he was. That's what confused <laughs> like, me. Like, you didn't I was know just, if it was, was a mask so or not? I was dude, like, until, is he real I, or I, not? <laughs> dude, sincerely, until this podcast, I think, like, there was some episode where he did it. I was pretty convinced that he was just part leopard, like, sincerely. I, I like, played Tekken 4. I un- and it was and crazy, I too, was because I did, I did play, I played Tekken 2, and I saw the scene of, like, in the beginning of Tekken 2, where, like, he throws the mask down. And you don't see King's face, and yeah. like, like I, I think Robot King or whatever you the fuck his Armor other King. name is, yeah, Armor King, King yeah. throws the 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 leopard mask down. Right. And I saw that, but I was like, 
It's just, he's just no. wa- he's like walking up. What was it? Was manta ray? He was walking without a head in SpongeBob. He's like, I don't, I won't be needing this anymore. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> right. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> without a head. That was well, probably one me, of the was funniest like, things in SpongeBob. Well, to me, I remember thinking it's so funny. Like the connections that my child brain made. Like the 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 logic of a child brain is so funny. Because like I remember being like, yeah, that's a mask in the cut scene. But like he roars, but he roars. He roars too convincingly. It, that was the like thing. It's, that's a good it's point right there. It wasn't just a roar. It would be like an actual beast sound. I'm like, that's how those creatures sound on PBS to me. <laughs> you know, it's funny though. In retrospect, in retrospect, in Tekken Two especially, I bet that was just some fucking guy. Oh, probably. You know, I bet it. I bet it wasn't even like a like a roar, like a like a royalty free like roar sound or anything. I, I bet it was just some guy in the microphone going. Uh, so like really good. Well, who was that guy? Uh, I don't know who he is, but you've probably seen the clip of this old dude that was acting like a zombie next to his wife or something. Uh, he's like, ah, uh, yeah, 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 that guy, <laughs> like that fucking guy. Dude, I forgot about that guy. That's such an old clip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he, was, he was talking about he was talking about the rabid dogs or something. Something he's, like, he's that, like right? They were going. Like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, he, he scared the shit out of his wife. Video. His wife got his scared. That was like, so funny. It's it's fantastic. That's my husband. What the fuck? So I'm thinking like somebody like him, like a, a voice actor like him, can probably do a, a really good leopard or whatever the fuck King is, uh, and and just make it sound convincing. Uh, yeah. Like actually, Joe Rogan, I will say, I'll compliment him on his animal sounding skills. <laughs> He's pretty fucking good. Dude, that video of him. <sighs> the, the video of it. Dude, the, the 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 gorilla video of him is so fucking good. You oh, must I, not be paid into <laughs> literature, dude. Oh. If you don't think if you don't think a chimp won't rip your face off and fuck your feet, you haven't been reading the literature. <laughs> That's so the fucking astounding. literature. Dude, What's the next question? What's next? Yeah, let's go. Let's move on. Uh, well, first of all, congratulations, Ashley. Combat evolved. Yeah, That's high not, five, uh, high fucking five, dude. That is I, I, so, our next that live is so show, sick. you better be there. I need to fucking high five you. That's yeah. that's, that's amazing. We want I'll give you, you on a stage hug because you just you need one, not because you deserve yeah. one. But like way too um, tight, and then you snap her. <laughs> dude, I, I don't know, man. I appreciate. I appreciate. <laughs> I appreciate those who just don't have reverence. For the things that we have been taught to have reverence for. Like, the reason Agreed. I won't change my name, the reason I won't change my name is because I feel like I, I owe, I, I owe my family to not change my name. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like this weird feeling, like, it's like, I shouldn't change my last name. There's a lot of history there or whatever. You're like, my first name was chosen for a reason. It reminds me of my sister. My, my middle name's my dad's name. I love my dad. I have no real reason. That's enough. To change my name. That is, but like, fun. but I would love to be able to do it. Yeah. I would love, I would, I'll put it this way. I would love to want to change my name enough to do it because mm. I, I would love th- I would love that amount of my a- authorship so over fine. my own I agree. it's like whatever it's like it doesn't bother me I either th- way I like your name like your name is the shit I think your name is badass and it's it, but I think it's a grass is greener thing because people tell me this shit all the time when I whenever I sign up for stuff or whatever they're like oh your fucking name sounds like some movie star thing I'm like what the fuck are you talking about but like I, I just whatever it doesn't matter to me like to me it I don't have the same feelings that a lot of people do. It's not anything against my family. I just he doesn't have, have feelings. the same yeah. feelings. I don't I just feel don't. things like regular people. I no, don't feel. I just feel I like, yeah, that's what I. That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just don't have like the same like that that sentimentality over yeah. the. Uh, to me, I'm just like, all right, this is was this was chosen for me. Uh, even the the pilot moniker, it. I don't feel even though like oh, this is my wife's last name now, and that's another point. Where she really has no, like, women just lose their fucking identity. They become just, property. Like, yeah, and a thing where I'm like, it makes even more sense to, like, let's just shake it up and do some weird shit, you know? No, nah, uh, uh, like, your property. Uh, if you change that name, it doesn't belong to you anymore. Who does she belong yeah, to? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I wonder, pilot, I wonder, like, this is my wife, and not just your his wife. I was, we were, we were thinking about um, changing her last name to Mick Slut. Like, it seemed, I'm making like, Lily Mick change Slut. her first yeah. and last name. What? What is, I'm what is it going to be? What do you first got? And last name. Her name what do you got? We all know some dumb bitch, Jameson. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> Jason, how would you feel? How would you feel? My name is um, some dumb bitch. How would you feel if uh, Lily didn't want to take your last name? I would care. Yeah, right? 
I don't care. She's going to get me my real money when I get my die. I saw this thing <laughs> going viral on Twitter. I saw this thing going viral on Twitter of, of like some guy uh, kind of chastising his girlfriend or something because he was like, she you uh, she won't. It, they were on a podcast together too, so it, it might be completely fake. But yeah. It started. It started an interesting question where it's like, she was like, uh, yeah, I don't want to. I'll take your name, but I want my name as well. So That's like a hyphen, a hyphen situation. Yeah, Mexicans. And he was he was like offended by that because he was like, why don't you want to take my name? And it's wild because I, I've never once thought about that at all. Like, I've never once given a fuck about that entire concept. Uh-huh. Like, if I'm getting married to somebody, you can keep your fucking last – you can keep your last name for all I fucking care. Yeah. I, is, dude, if I, think, if I think your last name is fucking dope, I might take yours. Yeah, there's well, – yeah, Chris, no, 100%. What happens is this, right? Dude, if I got married and t- to some girl named like I don't know, like Veronica Wolfkill or something, it's like, bro. Yeah, Wolfenstein. I'd be like, what's up? Let's go. Let's <laughs> yeah, like, yo, go, what's dude. up? How can how can we how can we solve this? <laughs> <laughs> Look, but what happens is this, right? This is what happens, right, Chris? This happens to a lot of people, a lot of people in this world, right? You're not a misogynist, patriarchal asshole, right? That <laughs> not system yet. of ma- yeah, of yeah, marriage, yeah. you get, of course. Every man ends up there. It's just we no matter how much we There's run, always we run, time. We run, <laughs> we hide, we end time. up at that place. But the thing is that it is just you're a woman losing her identity and being a- a- acquired by you. It, it literally right. just is. That's what right. it is, unfortunately. Yeah. So what happens is that for most of us, we're like, I don't really care. But then when people are like, no, it's tradition, and it has to be this you, way. You, you know why they, stay, uh, they have that stance. Uh, none of this modernity shit. Yeah, dude, I don't care. Like, uh, there, a UFC fighter just got a bunch of shit. There's this Irish dude named um, Ian Gary. He married his uh, Brazilian wife, and so now his name is Ian Machado Gary. Uh, or Machado. Ian Machado Gary. And Ian Bieber. Machado's a way cool. That's a dope it name. It sounds cool. You know what I thought it was? When I first heard Machado... I thought, because he's really into, like, a lot of martial arts and stuff, so I thought he was, he had some, I thought it was a nickname that was, like, some Japanese shit, because Machado almost sounds Ooh. like a Japanese word to me, where I was yeah, like, yeah. Bushido or something, I was like, I, so I was like, oh, but then I learned totally. it was, his, it was his, his wife's last name, and I was like, yeah, his name sounds cool now, Ian Machado Gary, and then the other people were like, oh, what a cook, well, I was like, dude, that guy will beat the piss out of you, like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't get that, if, man, if like, if you got if, 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 you're, cup, if your girl, if your girl has a cooler name, like, I, I, I don't see any... I will say, like, if, if you have, like, a normal last name, like, if your name is, like, Kingston Jameson, right, and you married a girl named, like, Smith? I don't know, Kira McSlut. Yeah, or, like, let's go. Or, 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 you know what I mean? It's like, eh, you know, I, I don't know why you did that. That seems kind of... Seems like, well, or, or, like, my Booty or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> booty! I married a girl named McSlut. Booty's a real, a real last name. That, and which McSlut's is awesome. not a real name. I want bad bitch. No, no, no. I didn't, say, I didn't say Mick Slut. I said booty. Bad bitch Mick oh, Slut. Yeah. What do you think about that? Booty's booty. a real name. Like one of the, I think one of the heads of Xbox is. Yeah, his name is booty. Matt Booty. That's so fucking Just crazy. awesome. Do it yeah. about people, fucking. The, uh, people, the way people were talking about him for a year it was insane. People were fucking making threats about him. Just a bunch of sexual <laughs> threats, and it's like Jesus Christ, it's not cool. <laughs> yeah, but people are horny, bro. <laughs> booty. People are yeah, fucking booty. horny. Stop. <laughs> anyway, let's move Get on. Let's move to a new question. <laughs> New question. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fuck me. When my cheeks divide, you'll be hoping I'm a guy. Gather your boys and all hop inside. Wrote in. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I the don't reference notice is. that one either. Um, he wrote in, hello, Snark Taints. I'm a new subscriber with a fairly simple question. Let's go. What's your dream car? I recently purchased ah. a 74 Chevy Nova and Ooh. plan on using some fat American freedom in it. Like it's an underdeveloped nation in the Middle East. Nice. Hope you goblins uh, absolutely enjoy uh, uh, the money you're taking for, uh, from this project. You've been incredibly entertaining for years, and I'm happy to be a supporter of the show. Uh, hell yeah, dude. Welcome aboard. Thank much you so much, brother. Oh Welcome. Enjoy um, your fucking American muscle, baby. Uh, my gym car is probably, I don't know, like a, like a Bugatti. A Bugatti. <laughs> like a Bugatti. A Bugatti. <laughs> what is your real ass? <laughs> What is your real answer? Um, I don't think he has one. I guess like, I don't care about cars so much. Kingston doesn't drive. He doesn't know how yeah. to drive. I do. He's know how afraid to drive. of cars. I'm not afraid of cars. He's I'm afraid, afraid of what they can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are afraid of cars. Every time I, I drive, every time I drive, though, every time I scream. Every time I drive, though, I think about what I could do if we went with that car. It's really scary because I don't know if okay. that's the like darkness you... in my mind being like, "Yo, I could flatten somebody right now." And you hear, "Didn't you crash?" Didn't you crash? Yes. Didn't you crash your girlfriend's yes. dad's car? Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> when was this? Years ago. Hey, yo, a couple first years episode, ago. First episode. 
Come the drive my that car, was hey. Then. Wow. Are you serious? Is the first episode? Are you are you yeah, joking? That's the fucking episode, crazy. I was late. <laughs> <laughs> I was late. Oh man, I gotta go. No, my fucking vehicle. I say, what the fuck? He doesn't sound I don't, so I don't funny. know. How he I, was, I don't know. He's, <laughs> they're like civilized That's so Mexicans. fucking funny. They're civilized Mexicans. Go get, I go. can't. <laughs> civilized. They're like civilized. <laughs> bongo, bongo, bongo. I don't want to leave the Congo. Oh no, 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 no. Go get him, Lily. <laughs> Sick of Lily. Bongo, bongo. So Lily was like, ah, I'm like fucking like <laughs> bit you and shit, right? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> man, just Pharaoh Lily. <laughs> she fucking got all, <laughs> she got it off fucking her force and just. I don't. <laughs> I don't have. I don't have a dream car at all. Like I don't. I just. I don't. I don't care. There enough. are cars that I I come across. There are cars that I come across that I'm like, that's a pretty. That's a beautiful car. Mm-hmm. Like I appreciate really nice looking cars. I'm a big fan of the 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 old like boxy looking cars specifically. Like there's something about them that I I like a lot aesthetically speaking. Yeah. But I don't. I wouldn't go out of my way to like acquire one or like I'm totally like my Toyota Corolla is so perfect for me. Like I don't, I don't care. Like I know it's like a basic fucking car, yeah. But like it, it does everything I needed to do. It's like it works perfectly. The parts for it are cheap because it's so fucking abundant. I don't see a Ooh. reason to have like I I never understood the idea of having like a really expensive like showboaty car because it's Ooh. like it's just a target to me. Like whenever I see a nice car in public, I, it's not even that like I want to do it, but like my brain is like scratch that fucking car. It. Jesus Christ! Like, it, it really, like, sincerely, like, a, a, there's a voice in my brain. It's like, scratch this fucking car. Put, take your keys out and scratch this fucking car. And I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do that. But I really, like, I feel it. Well, see, what you do is you put vinegar all over the car and ruin the paint. Would you call me? Yeah, that's what. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You put vinegar on the car on the, and then you, you scratch the paint. So that's how you get away and, with it. See, now you can how, cut it. Now you can cut. Wait, why you do, why do you get away with it for, with vinegar? What, what, what is well, it's because nobody's going to, like, if you, because real quick, you just keep a little bit of vinegar in your pocket, you know? You just, yeah, just yeah, pocket vinegar. vinegar. Yeah, pocket That's vinegar. insane. Kiss, put a little pocket in there. You just sting, a, little, a little bit of vinegar. You put a vinegar, a little bit of salt. Yeah, then you just, you just walk by and just squeeze. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? My baking friend, vinegar, uh, not. we went to, a, we went to, we were at a venue. We were at a venue, and this fucking idiot boxed me in, and uh, I couldn't get out on my own, so I had to have my friend, uh, like, guide me out. I was pissed. Mm-hmm. And he took this upon himself because I had some Taco Bell hot sauce packets in my just my cup holder. And so as we were like pulling out, I was good. He got back in the car. He grabbed some of the hot sauce and then just poured it on the dude's car. And I'm like, bro, like, bro, because like the, basically the vinegar and it's going to fucking it's, it could fuck up the paint. And I was like, like, uh, no, it's going he, he's to. that guy, though. He's he's that guy. Nice. Like, I, 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 so I feel like everybody has one friend. They're like, why the fuck am I friends with this dude? Like why am yeah, I? Why yeah. are my friends? Just, like he just yeah, Kingston, be- dude. I remember Kingston was like that. Like the first time we went out, uh, the first, it was like after like a concert or something. It's like he he came into the engine of another car because it, it double parked at us. It was like the most insane thing I've he, he ever seen. Un- uncorked the the, ca- the oil cap. With- <laughs> it was crazy. It was, it, was, it was the most insane thing. Fucked the car, and busted in it, then left. <laughs> no, that's what was so crazy. That's what was crazy about it. He didn't even fuck it. He like he just walked out of the car already hard, leaned over it, and came into the into the engine, and then walked away. That's so impressive. <laughs> it was you're, scary, you're man. So hard. You're just ready to go. You're just ready to fucking go. Just at, um, at a moment's oh, oh. notice, you're ready to bust. You're already you're already at the fucking climax already. I love that. Yeah. No, I, I wish I could do percent. that. I wish I could do that. Um, I like cars a little bit, but I don't have anything fancy I want. Just I don't um, care, man. I I miss my Celica. I used to have a I used to have a 2000 Toyota Celica that um that they stopped making Celicas in 2006 or 7 or whatever, and it pissed me off. Those are my favorite cars, so I would like to just you know get an old one and fix it up and you know, put a new engine in it or something like that. Um, and then I want a giant car. Like I used to have a, a lifted Tahoe. And uh, mm-hmm. I bought it off my 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 what I call my stepbrother, I guess. It was my stepsister's husband. I bought it off of him, and then it, it was too expensive to run after a while because I changed jobs and I was way further. Maybe a Rolls Royce. Uh, that- maybe a, maybe a, a maybe a Crown Vic, a cop Crown Vic. Look, yeah, you. I I would I would crash my car into you. I would like just the fact oh, that you would roll so, in anything such fast like that. Cop cars. They're they're they're, they're just just the. The history of the Crown Victorias—that's disgusting. 
Like, when I see regular people driving those, I'm like, you should be a fucking shame to yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself, bro. <laughs> what, like, what's, what's so bad with this The fact that you want to roll in... Huh? What? I, I don't know this. What's, what's so bad with them? What do, you, what do you mean? That they're the official police cruiser for, like, the longest time? Yeah, I know. I want one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's <laughs> like... It's, I want like, one. <laughs> it's like... like, it's like it, it, it feels the same when people, like, oh, you know, the Iron Cross. Well, it, it, it's always it's existed for... Before it was, uh... Before it was a symbol of Nazism. And so I'm like, yeah, but it's kind of tainted now, you... It's kind of tainted it's a, now. It's, it's, a little, it's a little that bit is ruined. crazy still. It's like, dude, if you're not in a place, <laughs> if you're not in a place where it's inside of an etching on somewhere, don't use it. Like, <laughs> it needs to be in like a thing that's well, much that, it, older well, than than the modern world. And I'm like, all right, well, that's fine I, to do. I, 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 well, isn't it kind of like the thing where it's like, do you remember back in the day where people were trying to make the okay, where the, this was like a like a Nazi symbol or something, right? Maybe but, it's like that where it's like people are like, but come it's on, not the swastika. It's, it's, it's different. No, though. no he'll. Hitler I know what ruined you're saying, it obviously. so like it's just like remember Michael Jordan trying to bring back the Hitler stash in the Haynes commercial, it just it, it just doesn't it's, work. It's yeah. ruined, it, it, unfortunately. It, even though it's I just a mustache. Mm. I, I, so I, I will say this about, about cars, right? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Hitler, Hitler, speaking of it ain't the Chaplin. Speaking of Hitler's <laughs> Hitler and cars, let's go. Um, Mercedes. There was one car. My dad had no, no, not Mercedes. My oh, dad yeah. had a Volkswagen. A 1992 Volkswagen Jetta, which is like not a particularly nice looking car or anything, but I I really loved the it a lot. It's, it was like really, it's really boxy, and yeah. it, it looks like a fucking Nintendo Entertainment System. And I think that's why I liked it. it like it just looked like it looked like a PS One that yeah. car, <laughs> and I really I, like I was going to inherit it, and then my my cousin Angelise crashed it, god damn, and, and destroyed it. So like I never was it I never a man got to or a woman, it. I, but. I have an interesting thing about Jetta. When Angelise? I was Angelise. <laughs> when I was oh, yes. uh, oh, go ahead. Oh my god. What do we do? No, it's a woman, Angelise. <laughs> <laughs> uh when, in in two thousand eight, I, I was doing some hip hop projects and I was trying to think of a name of like oh, I just want an alias. And uh, I really liked uh I was a big fan of uh the vampire savior or Darkstalkers uh shit. Mm-hmm. And yeah, yeah. Uh, the 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 final boss in the third one, uh, his name is Jetta, and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna just do that. I don't, I'm just gonna pick Jetta. Cool, whatever. Jetta's but cool everyone shit. that came across it, they're like, "What are you fucking car? I don't get it." And I was just like, "It's not even spelled the same." But it was just people when they hear that <laughs> word, and I was like, "Fuck!" Yeah. I changed it immediately. I was like, "Never mind." Yeah, you gotta. I was you like, gotta "Never mind, it. bro." <laughs> yeah, yeah my rap, my rap alias in 2008 was Bacon Slanger. Bacon, that man. You should have kept that, bro. Yeah, man. I would, I would slang bacon all over. Mine the was probably you probably would, you, you probably would ended up on uh, Epic Meal Time or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back then too, especially. Yeah. Oh my god. All right, let's get one more. All right, let's see. Let's see. All right, Capricorn, capricious, capricious simp. Wrote in. Let's go. <laughs> he wrote, "Hello, uh, shit shitter, bad bad hot takes, and talking to a wall." First time patron and asker. Who's who? Uh, I I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I had to subscribe to get my hands on these extra ammos, and I've not been disappointed yet. Let's but here's go. my question: other other than Chris not knowing you can just throw the sleep potion at the goblin in Baldur's Gate three to put her to sleep, there's been. Well, I tried that and it didn't work. So like maybe I did it wrong or something, but. I definitely did try that. Has there been any mechanics in video games that you didn't know about at first that made you feel like a dumbass when you found out about them because they seemed obvious in hindsight or just hidden mechanics that blew you away? I have an immediate answer to this. Yeah, I do an too. An immediate answer what to this. What do you got? I'm, I'm Shadow of the Colossus. Sure. Shadow of the Colossus was my favorite game fucking forever. And I played that game for the first time in like 2012. That's a PS2 game. And it still impressed me in like 2012 when the PS3 was like well, like it was like a year or two away from the PS4. So like, right. It was old already by the time I played it for the first time. And it was like, oh, man, I was so enamored with it. I was like, this is fucking beautiful. This soundtrack slaps. It's it's so pretty. Like, wow, what a good physics engine. Wow, these boss designs are so cool. And I beat the whole game. And then I found out way later on that, like, oh, did you, like, did you kill the lizards? And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, the lizards? And I was like, oh, yeah, if you kill – there are little lizards that are running around the map sometimes, and you can find them in trees or something. And if you kill them, it increases your stamina, so you're not at base stamina the whole game. You beat it and in base I, stamina. 
Dude, I struggled so hard. There were so many times where I was like, dude, I can't hold on to these bosses dude, long better. enough to do fucking anything to them. And, dude, years later, I think I played it three times also, by the, by the way. <laughs> I beat it, like, I beat that game three times before I even realized that you could increase your stamina at all. And I, I was like, I can't fucking believe this. I like it became that. so much easier. I like that that wasn't a thought, like, say... You would maybe just Google like, "Fuck, can I increase my stamina?" Like, he just- no, I just well, because the rest of the game was so simple. You know what I mean? It was like it was like it's it's just you, your horse, and you're going around to different bosses. There aren't even right. like there aren't even like smaller enemies in between them. It's just a boss rush game, basically. Right. Yeah. And so like I figured, well, this is game. so I figured, oh well, this is a simple game. There's only one weapon. You have one horse. You can't customize yourself at all. It's very it's a simple game. So I didn't think that there was any way to upgrade at all. There's no upgrade system. There's no upgrade tree. It doesn't tell you this. Yeah. So okay. I just assumed that, like, oh, they're going for, like, a more retro kind of thing here where it's just a little bit more simple. And I was like, because why would I think? First of all, Fair enough. like, why would I assume if I kill lizards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My stamina would improve. <laughs> yeah, you know it's I mean? not really uh, – yeah, like, I, yeah, I don't really see the connection, too. So I, I get I, it. I understand. You're entirely right, but, like, you know, you should have done it, you know. Yeah. Well, whatever. Well, okay. So mine is simple, and it kind of blew my mind. Uh, it was God of War 2018. Uh, I think somebody told me in chat or something where th- to, to shield break, you just double tap block. Like, and you you do a shield bash, and it breaks uh, the person's yeah. defense. Where if they had, like, a shield or the uh, the, uh, the Valkyries had their wheel, we, uh, their... Uh, them shielded. I think literally I was doing the uh I think I was doing the the uh what's her name? The final the Valkyrie Queen? I think I was oh, yeah. I think I was fighting her when I figured it out. When, I think someone told me or something. I didn't I and didn't it, know about it at all. That shit shattered my brain because it made fighting of the certain there were certain enemies that I was like, Dude, these people are so annoying to fight and then no they're not. <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> like, and really I was easy. like I can't believe this. <laughs> Cuz I That's don't crazy. remember there being a tutorial saying you can do that. I'm sure if you looked at the uh the menu of the moves, I know who fucking does that. I just you just Dude. do combos and then you know them. They just they just come yeah. like there's only so many combos in the fucking game. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah, Star- Starfield has has a lot of that stuff where like the game just the game just doesn't tell you a lot of a lot of things. Very cool. <laughs> like <laughs> it's it's which is cool. Like I kind of like that because it's like it, it leads to it's a it's a cool sense of discovery. It's like, "Oh, that's cool." But at the same time, it's like, bro, I, I, eighty hours into Starfield, I found out that there was a way to, that there was a way to like alter the flight mode. So like, in, in, like in usually in, in like you're flying and it's like you know you're going forward because your propulsion's pushing you forward. Yeah. If you hold like right bumper or something, you can go like up and down and like left and right. You know what I mean? You like didn't know that. Hover. Uh huh. I had no fucking idea because it didn't mm. tell you that. Also, you needed like a skill to do that. It was like behind a skill thing. So like. I had no fucking clue this whole time that I could have been doing that. I was struggling so, so like, hard I guess in space battle. Nice. I was like, <laughs> like fighting games go about. So you know that if you um, so people that play fighting games, you know that road for a Hadouken is a quarter circle forward, and then yeah. you do Hadouken. That's not true you, at all. You're lying. Okay, so <laughs> let me continue. So if you, if you do a quarter circle and then a, a Hadouken, then another quarter circle and square, that'll do an ultimate. I didn't know that was how most right. fighting games worked. I didn't know that. I thought you had to do two of them. Like, no, you can do a quarter circle Hadouken, then quarter circle again. And then use just punch on you'll, you'll use like a show you can, and it's like oh I didn't wish I knew. Wait, wait how did you wait? Like whenever uh, the those bars like a uh, a bar was present, mm-hmm. you didn't like like what are we talking about here? Like say so what happened is when when did you I discover one, this? Right? I love one right. When did you right? I found this out like maybe like three months ago. What do you mean? So if you use a quarter circle once, and then a quarter circle again. Real quickly, it'll count as two quarter circles, and a button won't count. So use a sp- ultra if you have the ultra that's a square one. It's really weird. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, to be honest. It's really weird. Do you it, mean you like this? Am I the only one? Wait, do you mean like say the way that they w- always were before? I don't like. I don't, so I feel like, is, isn't that how it always thir- worked? I know in third strike is like this. I don't really know about the older ones. So if you use the Kadokin motion, right? With yeah. the analog stick, you press square. You'll do a Hadouken. Right. You do a, if yeah, you make you the same motion, and but then twice you, press you double it circle, up. Then you do it again. 
you'll do a Hadouken set. You'll do you'll do your ultra. Yeah, like you, you mean like you double it up and that's how you like you would be like like you do what half circle, half you circle. You can do Hadouken in the middle of it. It counts the quarter, it counts the um the analog motion last. Like so, you mean like say to like set up your to basically this, this ultra, what you're yeah. supposed to do is stagger people so you can mm-hmm. do your fucking ultra. What happens right? is like how do, I, how do I explain? It's like you like you're use, staggering, you do use, your Hadouken, Hadouken and then you do your super Hadouken, right? And yeah. if you use another quarter circle and press circle again, or square, whatever the punch button is again, whatever you'll the punch use your is. ultra. Because what happened is the double quarter motion, circle motion, is apparently a very weird motion to do, especially on like the on like um heat of the moment. So what they do is they help you like store mo- store inputs to be able to do it instead. Yeah, I thought I thought that was like the point of because sometimes, especially if we're playing competitively, it's hard to trigger. It's hard to hit somebody with a super because the, the most people will be anticipating it. Mm-hmm. So you have to stagger them at some point, either while you're in the middle of a combo, or if you were to throw a Hadouken and then you activate the the the, the ultra right behind it to hopefully yeah. you stagger them or something or something like that. So I see what you're saying. So there's that tactic that you never you just found out never about, it? about it. I feel I like I would do two double quarter circles and then use and then press circle, and I'd always fuck up. I s- I'd always fuck up for years. And I'm just like, oh, it's a shortcut. Didn't know. I see what you're saying. I see. I mean, there's. You should just, man, just watch fucking Daigo or something. He fucking just has, like, every tutorial that there is to man. motherfucker, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, what happened? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat him off. A seven gay son army couldn't hold my sack. I'm going to beat him he off. He says, hi, gang. <laughs> is there a gaming memory associated with a family member slash friend of yours that was too embarrassing to forget? <laughs> I remember back when the Wii Fit came out. And it told my whole family that my mother was morbidly obese. (laughs) Which is crazy. (laughs) That's nuts. I don't know if we have good answers to that, but I wanted to share that because that's so... I mean, was she, though? (laughs) Was it it like not cabin? I was like, yo... I don't, this bitch big as shit. It was 2008, like, so like Just I mean, she, like she might. It, is. <laughs> it was 2008, so she might have been totally fine. Because do you remember? Do you remember back then? We're like, dude. I remember seeing people in in magazines being like, you know, Britney Spears is fat or whatever, and it's just like. Yeah, I not mean, even slightly, <laughs> not even not even a little bit actually. Yeah, that shit was uh, pretty wild. Uh, yeah. Like cocaine chic was like the style back then. Yeah, it had to be like emaciated, like fucking uh, what's his what's um oh my god the friend of Paris Hilton and her friend. Um, Nicole Richie. Nicole Richie. You yeah. Perez yeah. Hilton? No, I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, that fucking, yeah, that Perez guy. Perez Hilton. That he was guy. fat. I forgot about that guy. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? All right. what's, you know what's uh, funny about him? He's basically the precursor to a lot of, like, modern... That tabloid like, shit? Yeah, like, like mm-hmm. Perez Hilton is probably, like... I don't think he influenced a lot of things, but, like, a lot of people kind of ended up just becoming a version of him. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like how Keemstar is basically Perez Hilton. I agree. You yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah, and TMZ. T, T, I feel like t, if there is a devil, like it's just TMZ. It's the guy that owns TMZ. That guy. That guy. Yeah. yeah there's that, that the fucking guy who always the, the, guy who look, the guy who looks like he he always looks like Randall from fucking uh, Monsters <laughs> Inc. to me. <laughs> he's got like a Randall face to me. Like I don't, I don't know. I don't know. He's definitely Randall esque. <laughs> yeah, he's a salamander ass. What the fuck's his guy. name? I remember he just like uh, hearing that he's a lawyer because there would be like the. Uh, um, it doesn't matter, but yeah, that he would just be holding a drink all the time. I remember just seeing his fucking face and holding the drink, and then he had this nigga with dreads that he'd work with, and I'm like, man, brother, you, what Harvey, are you doing? Harvey Levin. That 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 sounds right. And then yeah. there was this, yeah, there's this black dude. I remember, I just remember the last time I saw him was when Kanye was on uh, TMZ. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, that's right. You remember that shit? And he <laughs> yeah, was like, right. oh, <laughs> he was like. <laughs> Oh, 400 years, you over there for that long? It sounds like a choice. And I'm like, that's that's so fucking crazy. I, I hate it. I, I, oh, man. But, but it actually, it, it is kind of telling. So bad. It's telling, though, because, it, like, even though that seemed like a weird thing, and then it, look what it led to. So it's kind it of got like. It worse. It, it did, it, it somehow possibly got worse. But, uh, okay. Uh, to, to answer the dude's question. Um, I, I, no, I can only think about like, uh, rage quitting people, rage quitting. And, but that was always funny to me. Like it wasn't, I wouldn't say like embarrassing or anything. Whenever I would see people rage quit, I always thought it was the funniest fucking shit ever. 
Like people getting their asses whooped too hard or whatever, and then they fucking like, you know, like fucking throw a little fit, and and they're like, you're such a bitch, dude. Like you're it's such not, a bitch. So it's <laughs> not fit. explicitly, it's not explicitly related to a game, but it, but it, it's it it ties into Spider Spider Man is such a such a such a driving force in my life. So I have one of my friends, uh, Malik, who I've known for a very very long time. Uh, I, I still. Uh, I talk to him every now and again, but we were friends in like I think third third grade to sixth grade because that's when we went to school together. But he would come to my house and we would we would play all sorts of games like War of the Monsters and and Hunter the Reckoning and all sorts of stuff like that. And I remember he introduced me to Halo actually, but I, mm. I but I remember specifically <laughs> there was we were at my house and we were playing Spider Man on the Xbox, the original Tobey Maguire game. And in that game, you can play as the Green Goblin. There was like a, a cheat code that you could do. I don't remember exactly what it was, I don't remember that. but you could play as like, huh? I don't remember that, but I played more two than one. Oh, you don't remember, dude? It was so cool. You could fly around on the glider and everything. I think the story mm. was like it was it was Harry in mm. the suit. That makes sense. Because, mm. I, I don't remember. It was, it was really dumb. But you got to play through the entire campaign as the Green Goblin on his glider. And I remember there's this mission where you have to rescue Mary Jane. Mm-hmm. And I, I carry... I, like, and so it's the Green Goblin carrying Mary Jane. And I remember being like, oh man, uh, and you fly to the bridge or whatever. The Washington Bridge is like, yo, we're going to fuck on this bridge. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm the Green Goblin. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, we were children, by the way. Nice. And Malik thought it was so funny that he ran to my parents to tell them that I said it. And I was, it was what? so, I was so fucking mad. Cause I was like, don't, t- don't say this. We're friends. I don't even think, I don't even think he intended to get me in trouble or anything. He just thought it was genuinely, hel- it was the funniest thing he'd ever heard in his fucking life. So like, d- is that news, how he would, is that the type of relationship he had with his parents? You think? No. I, well, maybe, I don't know. Maybe, he, maybe they would make jokes about that stuff. But I was like, but Seriously, like, dude, don't do that. Because no, but what kid would run to the knowing that they shouldn't be saying shit like that? So I'm assuming I don't, think he knew, I don't know, man. So that, I don't I would, know. I would assume that his parents probably they would share fucked up jokes like that. And yeah, like, it's it's but so so to get back at him, so to get so to get back at him because I, I I held onto that for so long because I got in trouble for it too. It's like, oh man, this sucks. So like for a while, I somehow I don't know how I did it, but I convinced him. And I bring this up to him every now and again because it embarrasses him so much. I convinced him that my cousin worked for a company that could build gliders. And I told him, like, yeah, dude, like you could get one. Like I could I could put in a good word for you and, and we could we could we could both get gliders. We could fly around the city and he was like, Whoa, that's crazy. And he like totally fucking believed I I must have been like a really fucking good actor to other kids at, at that age because I was so good at this. Mm. But like at, for years, by the way, this was this went on for years. It's like, yeah, I, I would say stuff like, Yeah, I think it got I don't know, there was like something in production, it, it was like some recall or something so like it's it's on its way but it's taking a lot longer and you'd be like oh man i'm really excited about it (laughs) third grade fourth grade fifth grade (laughs) sixth grade he like continued and to the point where it was like it was getting it was getting to the point where it's like i could tell that he felt dumb for believing it but at the same time i've never given him a reason to doubt it yeah (laughs) and so he still had hope and then years later, I think when Destiny came out, because we that was the that was the group that we did raids with you when dashed, Destiny came out, I reconnected with them. Like he was like, "Hey man, you remember? Uh, you remember when you promised me that glider?" <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, man." <laughs> and he was like, like, "No, I don't." Have a good I know night. that was a lie, but like, <laughs> he's like, "I know that was a lie, but like, can you just tell me so I can, <laughs> can so you I just can, tell me so, I can so buy- that I can be free." <laughs> I no, was like, yeah, I made that no, up. No, I swear it. I will. I almost feel like my friends still fuck with me. I, I, I told you guys the story of uh, playing Hunter the Reckoning with my friend at New Year's Eve. And, like, the, the controller, like, the, you know how they had the, 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 it would, what was it called? The trip wire or whatever? Yeah. But the yeah. whole thing, it didn't, like, it, the whole thing just shot out and hit him in the chest. Did I tell you guys that? Yeah, you yeah. told, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, and I said, he swears to God that he had nothing to do with it. I feel like he's still fucking with me. I do because that was that was two thousand. That was New Year's two thousand four. Dude, I remember I fucked with Kingston. Later, and, I swear to God, I did. I fucked with Kingston once, where I pretended I pretended to be able to move shit with my mind, and I did it in like a really convincing way, and, and it bothered really him for high. months. I was really fucking high, and I was like, dude, stop, <laughs> stop, stop doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember what I did? I don't remember yeah, how you, like, I did made that. Made a cup move across the table, and I was like, what the fuck's happening? 
What's oh, was the water on? like when when the uh, when the condensation of the water like starts dripping under and then like it starts to move? Was it like something like yeah. that or no? I sincerely I don't even remember what the trick was. I just knew that it would convince him <laughs> that I was Thanks. that I knew how to move shit with my mind, and so I did it in silence when I knew he was watching. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, wrap Hell it up. Yeah, I don't know, man. Fucking I like dying. It. It's so late over here. Not dying. I have, I have to start cleaning up the house. I have to clean up the house. It's eight o'clock. Right, well, uh, <laughs> if you, well, I guess, I guess we've got to get going. Uh, blame Sween. Sorry, yeah, guys. His, what a bitch. He's a little pussy. He has to clean his fucking apartment every two minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Just why don't you just keep it? Why don't you just not dirty it up? We yeah. don't. You've seen my apartment, Chris. Then so what are you cleaning? Immaculate looking. The same things we cleaned yesterday, brain. <laughs> the same things we cleaned yesterday, brain. <laughs> the same thing. I, I love, I love, I love, uh. <laughs> you got them mixed up, by the way. It's, it's, brain is the one who says that. Yeah, yeah. Pinky. Yarf. But, yeah, he's always like, pink. <laughs> <laughs> the same I'm thing pinky. we do every night. How does pinky. pinky sound again? Try to kill every black uh, person in the world. Uh, <laughs> Pinky? He's like, hey, yo, brain, what the, what's good? Hey, yeah. no. He's like, hi, brain. I don't know. Yarv, yarv, brain. I don't nigga. know what I'm doing. I... What did you say, Derek? I, nigga, I'm, I, uh, wait, yeah, pink, I'm Pinky. And he's like, yo, <laughs> yo, yo, nigga, I'm Orson Welles. Uh, chill out. Chill the fuck out, bro. <laughs> I'm, yo, <laughs> I'm Orson Welles. Ch- chill out, Orson my nigga. Orson Welles would say the N-word. He would say the N-word. He, he knows he, he hates that word. He would. He you're, would absolutely say seen, the N-word. You ever seen there's a... Have you, you not heard Orson Welles? Any speeches? Any of his speeches, all that shit he talks about? He talks about how much he thinks discrimination is objective. Like, the, like he's so anti-racism, it was hilarious. There's, there's, nothing discri- there's nothing discriminatory about saying the N-word. About calling somebody an N-word. <laughs> you ever seen that In commercial fact, of him, it's, like, a, drunk? it's an assessment. <laughs> That wine commercial, where he's like fucked up. He's like super drunk. Like, he's drunk as shit. He's like, that thing, dude. Saskatchewan wine. <laughs> Drink it until you can't feel. <laughs> dude, he's got. Dude, I love Orson Welles. He's, such a he's, great of, he's probably one of my favorite people. I think he, he is, is the cool. only person in like the older world that I respect a little bit. Yeah, man. I agree it's with gonna that. be a sad. It's gonna be a sad fucking day when he dies. Um, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, sad fucking day. All is right. he dead? Uh, you know what? I'm been alive, pretty, pretty fucking sure. sure he's dead, but there's actually, there is a chance that he could alive. be alive. He can be very Oh, my old. God. Oh, wow. He died a long time ago. I, I imagine he did, but I was like, you know what? At this 1985, point. 1985? Really? That sounds about right. Yep, that doesn't seem gone. right at all to me. I mean, he was fat, so, you know. Were like, they, w- did they just have... Wait a minute. No, that can't be real. What do you mean? Why is it not uh, real, what? Chris? Be- because what? when was... When was what? Oh, never mind. Never mind. When was what? Never no, mind. no, no. What, do you, what, do you, <laughs> what, stupid, what stupid thought did you have? What <laughs> stupid thought stupid did you thing. have? You were thinking some dumb shit. I, I just... I, so here's the thing. I genuinely believe that all the people who were doing impressions of him were just we're him. Just because him? Everybody, because <laughs> everybody did it. Dude, everybody did it so, so well, well, dude. It was... They did it so well, like, and everybody else sounded like it. If anybody was trying to do like, I don't know, like Ray Liotta in like in like, fucking um, what is it, the the God Pigeons or something? No, like, God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or what is it, the God, the God, the Good Feathers or something uh, on yeah, Animaniacs? Yeah, yeah. I mm-hmm. love that shit. They all sounded like they were imitating Joe Pesci and Ray Liotta and and and, and uh, right. Jack Nicholson. You know what I mean? Right. Like they all, or not Jack Nicholson, Robert De- Robert De Niro. I know what you they mean. They all they all sounded like imitators. But for some reason, like Brain, I was convinced that Brain was like Orson Welles. It literally sounds like him. It it's exactly. It, it, is, I fu- like it him. is. It is fucking identical to the point where it's <laughs> jarring to find out that he died that long ago. Oh well, that would have been cool. Alas. that would have been cool. Alas, I thought he at least died. In, I thought he died like maybe ten years later. You know what I mean? Stop. Um, he probably could have. I just mean, you know, he obviously he was. Uh, he, he he was not like if he's drunk on a fucking cover while he's working. You know that nigga likes to drink. <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah, that's true. There's that probably no way sauce. they were gonna wrangle him to do Pinky in the Brain. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking alcoholic showing up. Thank God I have to voice just, this mouse. You just hear bottles like falling over it, like sipping, uh, seeping into the fucking audio. So like he's talking, but you hear like fucking. It's the it's the greatest vocal performance you've ever heard, but it's glass shattering all around him in the background. It's like we can't fucking use this. We can't use it. <laughs> 
we can't edit around this. It's the 80s. <laughs> that would be so funny. That would be so fucking funny. All right. Well, yeah. Let's move on. Let's get, uh, let's let's get on go. out of here. Sweet, uh, Sweeney uh, has to clean his... Uh, Sweeney has to clean his little fucking gangrenous penis and fucking go wipe the floor down with Lysol and Lemon Pledge. Green. My penis is bright green. <laughs> You imagine you had gangrene on your penis that was so severe that it was base. You could chroma key it. Oh my mean? god, <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> you could green, you could green screen it. Green screen. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> bro, you have to tie it off though, so it doesn't reach any other part of your body. So you just tie it off, and then the ga- and then the, the gangrene stays there. Yeah, but what happened? And then you're good. <laughs> then you're good. It's fucking. Clean. Yeah, that's how it works, right? Right. Yeah, that's exactly how. Yeah, let's <laughs> that's go. exactly how it works. Let's, 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 All right, let's. Uh, All right, let's get on. At, let's All get right. on out of here, so uh, so Sweeney can go and yeah, fucking lick all the crumbs off of his floor. Yeah, count oh. us down, um, bitch. Count count me down. Three, two, one. Obama, Lord of Drone Strikes. Yes. Listening to Sweeney makes me consider racism. Fuck face unstoppable. Let's go. There goes my homo. Watch him as she blows. Keith David, but British. 22 episodes to go. I'm coming for y'all. Fuck this gay. Suck this gay. Fuck this gay. Suck this gay. Just give me your dick. Uh, jolly old oh. dipshit back from Birmingham. Suck this way. <clears throat> Yanti. Uh, the no, cock Smith. that pierced your father came in his ass. I know you're trying to defend him, but there's no question. Mm. Oh man, NDC thirteen cyphergraph, the UNSC pillar of autism. Hey, welcome back. I remember that name from a while back. Mm. Uh, till I till I prolapse, I'm filling my ass. As long as you drill into this day, I saw cock. So you never say I'm not feeling. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the rest of it is because it cuts off. The only Star Trek patron would have both justifiably and verifiably shot and killed not just one but two people. Because your dick, your dick is on my lips. Because your dick is your dick is on my lip. I love sucking on guys. I don't know what this is. Your you guys got to be more lips. specific. Damn. You guys got you guys got to choose either stuff that's iconic, in a way that's like obviously like. I almost feel like I. Hmm, I don't know, but it, it, that, close. My cum is my on cum your lips. lips. My yeah, cum yeah, is yeah, on your lips. That's it. It's lucky. You might just give it a little. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's good. That's good. Okay. I don't know. Wait. Uh. What's going on? It just happened. Oh, is the red wedding happening? Yeah, it just happened. It's happening right now. <laughs> she just oh, okay. We, didn't, we, we actually okay. So we didn't actually give context for this, but before we recorded, Sweeney was like, "Yeah, she, uh, Lily's watching the red wedding for the first time ever right now in the other room." So I assume it's occurring right now. Yeah, right now it's occurring. I'm gonna go out there and be like, "How was it?" She's gonna be like, <gasps> "Mi amo, mi mi See, corazón I- y duele." I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know what's crazy? That's probably that's probably a big reason why I didn't watch Game of Thrones either, because like everybody was talking about the red wedding. Yeah. To the point where like I just knew what happened. Yeah. 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 Everyone knows about like, it. It's still it's like, entertaining oh, okay, well. though. It's still entertaining, brother. I'm, I, I promise you. You know what's crazy? Even knowing yeah. it is still spoiler. Spoiler for the books. In the books, ah, Rob the like, Rob knows he did fuck shit, so he doesn't let his wife go to the wedding. I mean, so that's what I would stays, do. Huh. That's what anyone smart would do. I'm just do. saying that's what I would do. do. I'd be like, okay, but, if I'm going to cross this nigga, I'm going to fucking stay far away from this motherfucker now. So he didn't let the wife go. So right now in Essos, there is little Ned Stark, the only other the only other true-born Stark, and the wife. Over across the mm. sea. It's hilarious. Nice. I don't know if George, I don't know, rem- I don't know if George that remembers is. that. I don't even know if George R. R. Martin remembers that line. <laughs> Probably so not. Long Probably ago. not, dude. That book came George out. George R. R. Dude, doesn't I think he's on his deathbed, either. bro. I, that shit. That next book. He's ain't not on his out. deathbed. He's like he's moving around. We just that like I don't know. I he has. It's too much hype for that last last two books, man. He got too much so money, bro. Him, he's got too much it's money. me. I'm I'm gonna go make Elden Ring. Yeah, ten years ago. He's doing everything but that. It's crazy. He's doing everything but the book. I bet. I bet he's gonna do like a. He's gonna like host like the next uh, American Idol or fucking whatever. He's just gonna he's just gonna start doing all I'm this shit. I'm George R.R. Martin, and this is Pip My Ride. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 dude. He's just, it, he just has a medieval themed Pip My Ride where he's like, <laughs> we we got rid of your fucking car and tur- we just it's just he replaces people's cars with horses. With horses. That's all, that's all <laughs> shit. Yo, just what's like, up, dog? Me and George R. R. Martin got you a nice fucking Mustang. What do you think? <laughs> oh, you yeah, got me a new fucking Mustang? No, yeah, no, a literal it's a Mustang. Fucking, it's, it's a horse. Yeah. It's wild, too, and it will kick you. 
It's a wild horse. We just found this like on the border of Mexico. It's fucking. What's the next name, dude? And they just let it loose in his house. <laughs> they, just, they just let a wild fucking stallion loose in some guy's house, kicking shit. Just kicking like holes go in the inside walls, and check out, check out your fucking horse. <laughs> Check out your ride. Move Bro. that bus. And that was bus. season one. And that was, yeah, move that bus. It's like Ty Pennington. <laughs> he fucking, he, so, so the first season, the first season of, of, uh, uh, George R. R. Martin's Pit My Ride, they just yeah. left the, they just didn't know anything, right? Like they just let this horse loose. Season two, they understand. So they, <laughs> they just drug the horse. <laughs> and just like, so it's just a sleeping fucking Xanax stuff horse in the middle of your fucking living room. It's like, check it out, man. <laughs> check out your new fucking ride. Yeah, they just hand you like a saddle. It's got a Bluetooth speak. Like, <laughs> it's what? got a Bluetooth speaker dangling from its neck. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, dog? It's just funny. I just love like I love the idea of him and exhibit like partnering together. What would they yeah. talk about? You, you, I can't imagine Exhibit and George R. R. Martin having a conversation, dude. <laughs> He, he would be like, uh, I, I like, uh, I don't know what George R. R. Martin sounds like, but yeah. he'd be like, I like what you did with uh, Within Temptations. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. He would say that. He would say that. <laughs> Thanks, dog. Thanks, dog. I'm Thanks, <laughs> dog. I was so busy pipping people's rides and fucking people over that I, I forgot to read your stupid, shitty, fruity little book. <laughs> Dude, did you do you know anything about like the Pimp My Ride, like the, the like the stories? I know I I watched that show religiously and and do all you the know ins about and outs. like what happens after? Yeah, you gotta pay those taxes, brother. Dude, it's not even they pay those taxes; they just rip the shit out of the car. Oh, so oh, they didn't even they give what? it to them like, at all. Dude, if if dude, it, so basically how it works is and and exhibit really had nothing to do with the show at all. He he was literally just like just he was the just host. the spokes guy. I don't even think he ever went to any of those fucking sessions at all. He just like recorded himself on like a vacant lot being like, hey yo, it's me exhibit. Uh uh I'm gonna pimp this ride. And then other people pimp the ride. But like it was just like they would take cars and they would put like aquariums and like PlayStations and like fucking flat screen plasmas and then they would record the episode and then they would be like, all right, and then they would take the PlayStations out. They would take the aquariums out. And so you're just left with a fucked car with a with a new paint job that has like more miles on it <laughs> it's fucking it's insane that is so funny oh i didn't God, I actually didn't take know it, that they would just steal it all back i didn't know Dude, that if at you all look, so funny. if you look back at that show and just look at the practicality of those it it makes per like why the fuck would you want this like all of those cars were dumb as shit yeah yeah it was no. like here's a here's 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 a uh, a fucking uh, petting zoo yeah. in the back of in the it's like, it's hey, like dog. what I know it's your birthday dog so we ripped out your engine and we put a cake in it <laughs> there you go <laughs> we put a mini fridge where the where the tires should be and it's like what <laughs> it's just the car's like. <laughs> <laughs> We had to put a V12 engine so it could get going, you know? <laughs> like, it's kind of hard to turn. Just read the next one, please. Fringes. I'm going to throw up. Please, I'm going to throw up. We replace the <laughs> steering wheel. We replace all the brakes and steering wheels with with violin strings that you have Lettuce. to pluck in a specific order to, to do certain functions. <laughs> You gotta press it, the, get do the E chord yeah, to, gotta, pr to you pull the play, brakes. You uh, gotta play Vivaldi <laughs> to get it to work. <laughs> <sighs> All right, let's let's move on. This will be the clip from this episode. I yeah, think. yeah, <laughs> that'll be good. <laughs> George R. R. Martin pimp my ride. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. Uh, shit, I'm a little out All of right. frame. Fuck. All right, let's go. Uh, fucking. Uh... <laughs> Adrian, get a glass. I want to see it. Sweeney, lick my weenie. <laughs> Probably the only and likely last San Carlos Apache that listens to the oh, Snark yeah. Tank. Buddy, Hot. full of joy, sucking on, sucking big boys, slurping on his meat. Gonna fuck a big man. I'm gay. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> Damn. Oh, okay. I, I, you know this one? Buddy. Okay, I, I know what it is. I figured it out. I think. I think it's... Buddy full of joy, sucking big boy, slurping on his meat, gonna fuck a big man, I'm gay, he got, he shot, oh, come on, on your face. face. 
Let's big, go. Straight, yeah, yeah, there yeah, there you go. Fucking my dude, ass. We will co- dude, <laughs> we will. We, we will, will, will cock you. We will cock you's obvious. No, we will yeah, fuck we will you. Cock uh, you. We were we fuck will, dudes. We will fuck you. <laughs> we fuck will dudes. Fuck <laughs> we will. We will fuck dudes. <laughs> fuck dudes. And it goes to the master you know, of we should do it. We should do, <laughs> we should do an acap- We should do like an acapella version where it's just the stomps and the claps. <laughs> That'd be fucking. Stop. That would actually be really fun. That'd be really That'd be fun. Cool fuck. Dude, we could do it. We could if we do it. We could do it at our live show. <laughs> we could have everybody. We could have everybody like. Boom, boom, holy sh- shit! That'd be How holy good would that be, man? Shit. That's, we gotta. We gotta work. Okay, we gotta we'll, work that out. We'll figure do, that out. We can do it. We'll absolutely do it. All right. Uh Damn, that's a good idea. Come the Mask 2 starring Paul Blart's mall cop in blackface. Help. <laughs> that's awesome. Come in my ass. You're drilling me, drilling me. All I want is your ooze, the kill. Caucasian container, nice. the cracker barrel for gays, tinfoil tyrant. Because I'm a <clears throat> hex girl and I'm going to put my cum on you, putting blackface on my light bulbs. Chris, where is part two of the Harvey Moon Let's Play? I need to know what happens next. That is insane. That's like 2011. So like you're definitely not getting a sequel to that video. I thought that video was private. That's insane. I did that at fucking Steve's house in 2011 with Gabby and all sorts of like a bunch of other people. That's nuts. Max Silhouette. Sweeney, 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 swallow up my peeny. Mm-hmm. Uh, bend my dick, come in a snatch. Sings, I've got two cocks in hand, but to make some homo plans. <laughs> Fat bottom <laughs> girls. Uh, she pipkin on my pippa. Possum, yo. Uh, yes, that's my real name. God, I gotta cut my fucking hair. It's getting in my eyes and mm. fucking me up. Um, uh, <laughs> but when I fuck you, I can cream so much harder than before with my ass in the air. <laughs> Give me your dick. Is that it? I don't. I, I don't know what that is. I don't know, man. Fuck. I feel like I should. I, that's one that I feel like I should recognize. Though. That was a heavy yeah. one. So much a harder than before with my ass. I don't know. Whatever. Damn. I don't feel stumped us. I don't feel like trying to make a joke today. Domination, average clip energy, gag me or release me, parasite. But do not waste my time. Waste my time with cock. They should make pedos wear GoPros in prison so you can see what happens to them. Mm-hmm. I think that would be neat. Star Coffee, Queef David, just mm-hmm. one sec, guys. I think there's someone at my door. Transfem Gremlin, exposing people with lactose intolerance and 90 million rotogens of ionizing radiation. Yush, not Vinpen, Angelic DM, and all my homies say I'm pretty fly for a gay guy. Nice. I mean, that's that's good for you. <laughs> not even. It's just one word. <laughs> I admire the laziness of yeah. that. <laughs> Craig, it's all the same. Every line is the same. It should be at least homos or something. All the homos. No, no, no. It, it's every line. The only difference is the word gay that's is in it. every line. That's it. Then it's the rest that's of it. <laughs> I don't what think that's transformative, though. man. No effort. <laughs> it would be transformative, though, because who the fuck? <laughs> all right, fair enough. Fair enough. That actually right? would be really funny. That actually would be funny to post. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like. Pretty gay for yeah. a gay guy. <laughs> For a gay guy, then you know it's kind of hard just to get along. A gay, our subject isn't cool, but he fakes it because he's gay. <laughs> he may not have a clue. He may not be. Gay? He may not have gay, but everything he lacks, well, he makes up in gay. gay. Stop. <laughs> so come in gay. <laughs> so <Please>. come in gay. <laughs> So stupid. Craig the Canadian, Billy Eilish, be like, I'm the cum man. I'll fill you of. I'll. I'll. Uh, I'm the cum man. Fill you. Full of cum, bloated up with cum, man, oh so full of cum. It's your boy Shawnee D. Yuri Lowenthal. Yuri Lowenthal is my Keith David. Uh, Matt Walsh is a hero of our time. Sweet baby gang for life. Well. Ben and Jerry's funky monkey. Indie butter knife on YouTube. Sandman's ass turning to glass from friction uh, from friction burn after a se- receiving that. one too many pussy gasms. Three XO buying Raycons in twenty twenty and them shocking my ear and ceasing to function shortly after the warranty expires. Slurp and stroke and smoke and joking. Emoticons going like this. <laughs> Morning outlet. Keep David drip. Mh return of the drip. Keep David voice. Ramirez meet me at the dumpster behind Burger Town and play with my nipples. Obi won't you blow me? Love uh, my love for Johnny Cage is immeasurable. Guy Abby behind Let's closed go. doors. I rise against. There's a dick. I think we're missing. It's in my ass. It's almost jizz. In something funny and topical. Gay Bowser, penis, 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 penis. Mario, Luigi, and Donkey Kong Two. I'll suck their dicks till my face turns blue. I love it. Uh, I fucking hate this. Rage Slave Five Eighty Three. Hey man, penis, penis, job, right? penis, 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 penis. I did rush through it. Uh, I did rush through it a little bit. Yeah, penis, 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 penis. <laughs> With no fucking rhythm. Penis, 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 penis. <laughs> I feel gay. Fuck you. The Papini Brothers Emporium of Realistic Cami and Chun Li Thigh Shaped Neck Pillows. Uh, 
self that dude. Yeah, dude. Uh, made, send me with that. Send me that address. Yeah, yeah. Send me that. <laughs> if, if, they made, we can, can if they box. made Cammy, if they made Cammy inner thigh flavored ice cream, I'd be, I'd fucking die from, from I'd dairy, diabetes, dairy poisoning. Dude. Diabetes, diabetes, dude. All Cammy, dude, they oh. made Cammy have such a fucking ass on her in this game, dude. They gave yeah, her a good big man. old ass yeah, that's to a fat pussy, and I'm like, why they? All right, whatever. I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for it. I am gonna yeah, nude mod She'd this be... character. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> I would lick. I would lick Cammy up and down until she's fucking eroded, man. <laughs> Donk Donkers. <laughs> Donk Donkerson. Right. I once created a heart. <laughs> that was so fucking. You don't say shit like that. That's why it's just like, oh man, gross. Dude, I, I would lick I'm, the I mean color it off too, that man. Bitch, I'm not bro. even. I'm. I'm not even remotely kidding. She would be faded. <laughs> she looked yeah, like a once, I want shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly like acid washed, man. Yeah, that I once created a hardcore uh, Gandalf and Dumbledore fanfic despite my middle school friend group. You got to pay the trolls Hot. toll to get in the boy's hole. William Harrington yeah. help when I use my William's ramrod hole. to make the slam jam. It causes a earthquake in her queef jabble. Tell him Steve Dave. Uh big scream boy. A mean lesbian, Barry McCockiner, John Strickland, armored hole sex, fires of rubbing cocks, Mer Mercs 1889, she went on my D till I goon. Mm. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh, like Wendigoon. I get it. Okay. So you're Wendigoon. Cool. Oh, I, took, I, almost, I almost missed that. Uh, the first search of Keith David, gay Kansas, be like, carry on my gay lords. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. That's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> the, nice. The inside your bum. bum. <laughs> Lay your weary Lay your hairy ass to rest. rest. I ain't buy no more. I'm gay. I'm gay. Let's blow guys <laughs> some <laughs> more. <laughs> suck on some dick. Suck on penis. 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 I watched Supernatural, <laughs> like all of the series. So that song is like really, really important to my heart. <laughs> I, like, I didn't know what that. Is, I didn't wait, know is that. It, is, is it that like the intro or something? That's a very. That song is like the. That's like the Supernatural song. If you watch oh, the series, you know really? it. Mm -hmm. I never would have known. What is it? Is it the theme? I don't understand. It's not the theme, but that's the that's the, that's the brother's favorite song. Like that's the song plays, that they have like oh. the most connection with in the series. It's a good song, man. I like it. Kansas I, like rules, it was man. There was a period of time where I was really sick of that song because it was kind of like it, it, it. They went through this period of being overplayed a little bit, but like I've come around on it. I've, I've I like it a lot more than I. I, 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 I liked it the first time, but I think "Dust in the Wind" is one of the best fucking like acoustic songs ever written. Dustin, Dustin the Wind is good, but it's fuck. You. Uh, it's you know, it's it's a, a little. That's a great. I don't like that song very about. much. I'm being honest. You guys are bitch ass niggas. That's why. It's just a little. It's just a little Sorry. dainty. You know, it's I'm a from dainty New York. song. My apologies. Dainty. Yeah, it's like really soft and. Yeah, it's kind of the point of it. It's a fucking song about death. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The disrespect like in that pussy. response is wild. Like pussy. Yeah, it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, duh. Are you idiot. fucking retarded? Yeah, you fucking nit. I'm just kidding. I'm not yeah, gonna, yeah. I'm not I, I mean, I get it. Yeah, it's it's just. I don't know. I prefer. What do you uh, breathe out your fucking mouth? You chimp. I, pref <laughs> I prefer uh, inside the fire by disturbed myself. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Devon. Around eleven, you killed yourself, you a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> you stupid uh, little bitch. Now I gotta clean you up, and I'm fucking annoyed. I wonder <laughs> if they listen to their music and be like, "God, fucking damn." <laughs> they cringe until they come. <laughs> who hey, who man, comes got... first? But who comes first to the cringe? And they all just sit yeah, down. They, David, fucking David, David listen. comes last for certain. Yeah, <laughs> he's I just a, crowning I, the whole time. I'm not gonna come, but I do feel they're, this they're, they're, gonna they're, come. They're though. my guilty pleasure, brother. They're my guilty pleasure. That's I, I, they got hilarious. Disturbed might be the only that like m they might be the only band sincerely that I listened to in high school that I just don't listen to anymore. Mm. Actually. I I don't know why either. I don't know what separates them in in that way, but like it, there's something about it. They have some ba like I I I understand. I understand it, but they do have some like there's a song called Overburden that I would challenge anybody to listen to and be like, "Tell me that's not a good fucking song." Tell me that's not a good song. <laughs> like it, it's like it's an, actually it's, it's it's not that. See, it's not that. It's one of those songs that's not that. You know what I mean? Like they have a new song that's just as fucking corny. Damn it. And on 11, she it's fucking so killed herself, and she's fucking gay. And I'm like, ah, this sucks. 
Dude, Disturbed I, I, is so fucking you know, cringe, wild. bro. It's I'm so they are so there's cringe. There's a lot of a lot of it is, but there's also within it there's a they ha, like there's some amazing songs. That's look, I, I, and I I'm agree. not even and I'm not no, even I totally agree. I'm not even uh, you know what I think. Yeah. You know what I think it is? What it's is the it? songs that I think I liked from Disturbed when I was younger. Yeah, I don't like anymore. I've always but been like, self aware of yeah, the, 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 that like the cringe. Like anytime I'm listening to the radio and I hear fucking uh, uh, "Down with the Sickness," and it, I feel the same way as I did when I was younger. I'm like, this is not, this is not the fucking, this shouldn't be their number one single. This is not their best <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I was like, that's not. <laughs> Indestructible <laughs> determination that is incorruptible from the other. <laughs> it's like, it sounds like a fucking baboon. Yeah, but I'm not. Like it, I'm not into that sh- when they. Ugh. They have like, <laughs> like, like guys, listeners. If any of you are listening, go listen to Overburden. I think it's like track number seven off of Ten Thousand Fist. Bro, it's it really. It starts it's off with be- a fucking badass bass intro that will kind of remind you of like uh, of of Tool or something. It's just a. It's just a good ballad. It's good, and it's like, oh wow! If Disturbed sounded like this, maybe they would be less made fun of. But then they have, like you said, the <laughs> Devin. Like it's, dude, it's not even. It's not even like I hate them. It's bad. just like, dude, it's just some of them. It just sounds so funny. They have, like they have a song called "Bad Man" that they released just like uh, a few months ago. It's just as like bad man, such a sad man, and the bad man, and I'm like, come, stop it, stop doing that. <laughs> it sounds it's like a bad M and M cipher. Bad man, I'm like, stop. Why would you? Why do you think that's a bad man? It's a trash can. It's a trash can. A bad man in a trash can <laughs> wearing an Afghan. <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what if David Draymond listens to this podcast and he's all sad? Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> he's all sad. I mean, he We're heard. It- <laughs> I, told, I told you we heard that gay cover. I did, right? Look, look in this. No, look, look, Derek. In this song, what's up? What's up? They don't sound stupid. They sound pussy. In this one, they sound like pussies. <laughs> and this one, like pussies. I remember this song. As soon as I started playing, it was like, take you night, day, bro, don't you sleep. They sound like fucking, you're, you're they fucking sound asshole. like wet vages in this song, dude. You're a fucking asshole. Cut to, cut to, cut to, uh, 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 what is it? Uh, Raymond? D- David Draymond crying. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. single, a single tear. No, he's, just sitting, he's just sitting on his couch bawling. <laughs> Like, the snark tank even makes fun of me, man. Even now, unreasonably I, crying, like he is fucking howling. Sam, he's like, I thought they liked me. I thought they liked me. David, I, I, t- I, 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 I <laughs> <laughs> If I ever met him, that's the first thing that I would say to him. <laughs> Just try to shake you his hand. You would shake hands to him. You'd be like, all right. <laughs> You would you would lock the handshake too. You would lock it so he can't get away. You would lock it. Uh, so he can't get away. Do you think he has nightmares? Do you think he has nightmares about like running into people who like grab his arm and won't let go and scream his songs at him? <laughs> I hope so. I hope he woke up in cold sweat. Bad man, sweats. such a sad man. The bad man, such a bad man, such a bad man. And I'm like, I'm like, dude, stop! If you just stop doing that, because the chorus in that song actually kind of bangs. It's actually a pretty cool chorus, but it just sounds. It sounds like, like an like, it sounds to, like an Eminem cipher. It does. It sounds, it sounds like like presto, uh, <laughs> presto, uh, and, uh, presto. You just said I'm an You just out your mouth said and presto. A hold and a you just said a presto, <laughs> presto. Oh, I'm gonna molesto. Uh, uh, I'm shooting up a Petco in Fresno with a Telesto. Uh, I'm like, shooting like, up <laughs> a Petco in Fresno. <laughs> yeah, that rules. That that shit like, goes hard. Because like I can Frank see that West. happening. Only in Fresno. Frank West on the day that the dead rose. I don't know, man. It's fucking like I don't. It's the day of the dead rose. I don't know, man. It sounds insane. I haven't heard that song, by the way. I don't know. I don't know the that bad man. Yeah, song it's at all, it's but. it's just it's the fact that it's even called bad man. It's like a grown a grown ass adult saying bad man like they're fucking five years old. Like, is that a bad man? Is that a bad, that bad man? man? Is, like, that, is that Vegeta? Like grown ass. <laughs> like all he had to do was just change the song, like at least the name to Madman, and it would sound more respectable. Dude, I wanted. <coughs> I wanted to get that don't shirt. Say bad man. What, what shirt? I wanted. I, I wanted that. I've wanted that pink. The bad, bad man, man shirt from Vegeta is fire. That's oh yeah, fire I wanted shirt. that shirt. I've wanted that shirt for so fucking. You know who long. has it? Wrong. Jordan has it. You're not it. wrong. You're not wrong. That is good. Does Jordan have it? Yeah, he has it. He's the Batman he? shirt. I would love that shirt. That man. is a, that is actually why not why not just grab it right now? You know you know you can get it easily. 
We can the, afford the it. Clothes we can fit afford me. it. Like, clo- things, th- clothes that's like not going to fit you fit yet. Me. I know that shirt won't fit you. They won't have your size. Yeah, you're they right. Won't, they won't have my size. I would have to get it like custom made, which is like a whole fucking thing. It's, it's pointless. So you think, you know what? I might have different uh, interpretation. You think that song is about Vegeta? If that song's about Vegeta, I'll have more respect for him. <laughs> Way more respect. <laughs> it, would nah. make a, it, would make, it would make more sense. Seven. It's bad man. Uh, Seven. <laughs> <laughs> we're, supposed, we're supposed to be ending the right. episode. Wait, let's end it. A long time ago, Nick, you said true. you had to go like a half hour ago. Yes. <laughs> this is what happens, man. The credits, the credits have been low key fire. They have been. That's true. You know. All right, let's uh, let's move on. Uh, oh, church, uh, bad, <laughs> carry man. on, my gay lord, son. There'll be peace if when be you find him. <laughs> Let your whole moon head to rest. Ew, ew, why are you singing like that? Let let's your blow, whole moon head to rest. Wow. You ain't buy no oh. more. You're gay. Bro. You're gay. I've never right, heard singing on. that way. You might have just created a new genre that might make you fucking go viral. Yeah, you, you're like the proto Scott Stapp to whatever next generation. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. You did it. You got it. <laughs> you got the formula. Hello, my friend. We meet again, bro. Where I've been mimicking him for. I've been me. mimicking him for years, bro. <laughs> what? Well. Bro, I have. A, I have a, there is a video on Facebook of me playing the guitar and singing that song as best as I can. Like, like you have cerebral palsy or some shit or Bell's palsy. I mean, sorry, wrong yeah, one, yeah. wrong one, <laughs> wrong one, <laughs> wrong one. Yeah, but like. He's like, hello, it's it's hard to do. What's the name of what's the name of the song I was singing? Like that song a lot. And I don't want the one to see me. Better go on to the. No, it's not the name. That's of the not even close. I don't know that's what, a, know that what you're that doing. I mimic that's every Iris. time. The song I mimic that's all Iris. the time. Okay. <clears throat> that's Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls, which yeah. does not sound like that at all. No. First of all, you're doing like a frog, like if a frog could sing. I don't know what <laughs> sound that is. <laughs> you invented something new. If that's supposed to be an impression of someone, it's not good. Dude, uh, I wouldn't mind covering mm-hmm. Iris. That'd be dope. But like, in I like, love, I love that song. And ironically, I, I feel like great. everybody, even my friend, that's specific, strictly only into death metal, likes that song. <laughs> it's a good song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I gotta figure out how to make that song um, into my style. I don't know how I'll do it, but whatever. Yeah, it'd be tricky. Yeah. In your head. And I do want the world <laughs> to sleep. Right, let's move on. <clears throat> Exit pants, enter ass, take my cum. We're off to bussy fucking land. Pre rise, nice. Blake896, Gay Jonah Gameson, uh, ga- uh, editor in chief of the Gaily Bugle, Coffee Spam Randy, out of fear that his dick is bigger than his. Alaskan oil field trash, Texas tater salad, <clears throat> insane clown pussy. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> uh. Sue Hulk, tickle my ass hairs, Nikki Ziggy. Uh, Chris, wake up. It's uh, Chris, wake up. It's me, Marcus. The cog needs you, and I need you. Dom is dead, and I don't know what to do. Get up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Get up, that would stress me the fuck out. I would not want to be anywhere near Gears of yeah, War. Yeah, but oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> Are you like roided out too now? Like when you wake up? Are you yeah, fucking? I, I would be like, fucking <laughs> 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 uh, talking with muscles. Ah! Right, put your bandana on. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, uh, Mike Walter. Uh, every time I come, it sounds like Squidward walking. Jackson Dupont, badly brave. Hugger Derek. Duck cunt. Bulk, the first disciple of the fitness. Aetherian, Progerian hunter. Melfus one, the angriest kraut. And rounding out our list. As always, the beautiful king, king, king of king. haphazard. Let's thank you all. Go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get down yeah. with the tism. Sock, sock. Let's, uh, let's get down with the syndrome. Oh yeah. Let's, let's, let's get down oh, with go, the let's syndrome. Go, let's go. I yeah, got yeah, few yeah, chromosomes, yeah. and I don't think too good. <laughs> I was so supposed dumb. to release that, but I got fucking sick, so I'm gonna do it later. Yeah, We're down with yeah. the syndrome. No, <laughs> are we? Are we done? Are we done? Did we stop recording? Yeah, we I'm are done recording. now.